not if they lose here today. All right. They'd really like to start this one off with style. I'm Captain Flowers, joined for the series today by Jat and Emily Rand. How y'all doing? I'm doing great, and I'm really excited for this specific matchup to open up the. All right, so I, like I tried so to stream solo queue on YouTube, and I got 28. Fan base. Waiting Copyright for claims. To well, I just demonetized the video. GG. Fan base to say, hold on now. We've been beating people all split. Where is the damn respect? All right. C9 versus 103. This, this should be a banger. Today. Yeah. And I think uh, this is a really interesting Probably watch with Yamato and Crowny. For me as well, because when we talk about C9, again, we talk about the expectations put on this super team with the mm -hmm. names on this roster. How's this work? How anyone YouTube can working? Carry on the team oh, nice. YouTube is working. Cool. I have one viewer on right, YouTube. Where I think the big thing, Forehead. even people who think like, Did I see oh, the Fisher clear love clip? Yep. Honestly, I have wanted to say worse to, to Fisher. He went light. Staff, I would have just told him that he should retire. Being able to drop ego when necessary in draft to be able to draft really, really well around exactly what this team wants to do. And absolutely, I feel like these two teams match up in such an interesting way, as you allude to, Emily, because Cloud9 has been a dominant early game team. I'm the one viewer. Nice. And yeah. 100 Thieves has been a Is BO3 or best of five? Best of five. Right back. Cohesive. So they are very different in the way they approach the game. And even though they are very... You know, 100 Thieves is second place and Cloud9 is third place. Only two games separate them in the regular season standing. So I'm expecting a very competitive series. All right, as we get into draft, let's just go ahead and make sure we're caught up on a couple of things. The Lounge did mention it, but we are still on 14.5, but it is the hot fix one for Smolder. Yeah. So the ridiculous damage on the E toned back a little bit, slightly longer cooldown on the ulti as well. He's still going to be really, really strong, but he's not going to be in that absolute broken tier anymore. Also worth noting, Azir is still disabled, mm. and we've seen both Let's of go. these mid laners play quite a lot of Azir before. Yeah, and as you see, bans coming out from 100 Thieves. Oriana is a good one, I think, because much like Azir, Ori just gives you not only like a control point right, guys. in mid, but also I'm feeling team fight prowess. C931 for the pushing bot lane, and then C931. Jojo's that's my Nico prediction for it. On the other side, I know, bro. The quid. I know. At 100 Thieves, they did well. Ever, uh, especially if Jojo's going to be going towards an Akali again. They were uh, doing well. Lane, which is something he's defaulted to in an Azir list world. I don't believe. And then the Varus. And Playoffs, different beast. I think it's easy for so T9 to figure out what they want to play. Also, Smolder is up. Blue. That's why they're blue side. And I still think it's broken, by the way. I still think it's broken on this patch. The loser of each game will get to select sides for that game. So to start right. things off, we have 100 Thieves locking in the Nautilus, which I think is quite interesting since that is generally what Vulcan was winning on after the break. When they were playing the Enchanter lanes with Vulcan, they found much less success. So right away, even though it's not the most popular first pick globally, I think it's a good first pick for this series. Yeah, and we see C9 coming out with the Senna initially. The My favorite composition that this C9 team has piloted all year was actually Okay. Take the Senna um, away from the Senna really Nautilus. Senna what are they going to run? So Please, no Senna Orn. We saw that once. Also, Berserker and Senna is, looks pretty bad, so I'm not sure. Kind of for him I'm not sure, bro. We'll um, see. The Smolder versus Senna debate, right? Yeah. Like, who is better in the bot lane? What is better? And I don't think this game is necessarily going to decide it, but we're going to see it. Absolutely, and I think it's a bit of a bot lane handshake here where you're just picking a little bit different styles. I will say... Smolder, Aatrox blind. Was I like the Aatrox cool. blind because Fudge is... And what is Fudge going to play? He's going to play Renekton? So Guess he'll just play Renekton here? I've seen this year at about 20 minutes. So he has had good Senna games in the past. It's not like he cannot play the champion. But It's got to be Renekton, right? Well, what can Fudge play, bro? Very well last time. What could Fudge play right, outside so of Renekton? Of how those both stack up literally and metaphorically throughout the game. We're Talia. The Aatrox locked in here for I am not the biggest fan of Talia. Still possibly flexible to mid lane. We did see Quit do it once. It was a very specific I'm not the biggest fan of Talia. I just think that Talia is the type of champion that um we're expecting we're, <laughs> I'm not calling it Talia. That's Talia. I think Yeah, and I was going to say I really like this pick for JoJo because again, when we talk about yeah. how important JoJo has been to this team. All right, okay. You are ready for the poll? Yeah. Stellar, 
but it's when he's able right. to get out of lane and pay attention to pronunciation talia or talia all right let's see <laughs> okay. um, all right dude think it's a okay let's see yeah. let's yeah. see which yeah. one it is let's yeah. see if it's talia of the champions that quid has looked absolutely dominant on I have AIDS. And I, think <laughs> I have AIDS? Yeah. yeah, where do you think I got them from? Jesus. Relax. Relax. Jasmine sure Dunner, is it pre-done? They're being done live. Now you can see the reactions of the players, guys. It's not Talia. It's not Talia. One player it's of the week, Talia. And now getting some draft protection from his team. And both teams are playing that draft. Talia, clearly. Thank you. Yeah, see, I'm right. It is the Renekton taken away from Fudge. I'd say taking taken away, but I feel like there, there might just be No, this one's mine. The one that wins is mine. And then the poll that doesn't win is yours. Okay, how about also banned out as C9 will lock in the Lee Sin very quickly. You want me you want to fight off stream? Okay. Secure a stronger 2v2 even though Talia and Lee Sin are both is Rachel just female Gilius <laughs> what the fuck oh. to find two champions that would actually be stronger to 2v2 because I think for cloud nine there's W gaslighting true quid run the game they'll be able to win it but if they okay wait Joe dude I'm liking 100 thieves comp I'm gonna be honest I'm liking what 100 thieves have what is the last pick? You know it's gonna be some dog shit for Fudge. Bro, you know what would make this an auto loss? A Fudge Jace. Give me a Fudge Jace. Just give me a Fudge Jace. A TF top, Fudge TF top. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. This is 100 Thieves win. This is 100 Thieves win. Uh, I think it's really interesting because previously, I think when we have talked- 100 Thieves comp looks so much better, I think. On something like Udyr, right? Where C9 can't draft. Yeah, Mithy drafting is fucking crazy, bro. This guy just literally puts random champions together and he calls it a draft. He's like, all right, Nar, Oriana, Lilia. That's our top side. Slap a Lucian, Nami with it. Boom, that's a draft right there. What is that? What is wrong with you? What? What did they say? You can pick globals. Like a lot of times, Taylor say, like, <laughs> Can they hear you? <laughs> oh, they can kind of hear you. Yeah. You pretty much have to show. Oh, close the thing. Not to Trouble. team fighting. So we have an even bigger disparity in the team competition's power where 100 Thieves, if they can group up and okay. make a control game, big advantage. If Cloud9 can go open early games, I would say Gilius with tits, so but Gilius has some tits. So. And that's where I think we really need to look at the Just kidding. objective control too, because I think I told uh, I told Crack in the story about bitch tits Gilius. The first time I met Gilius, bitch tits Gilius. That's a classic. All right, let's join. I think we're gonna have Yamato, maybe uh, Crowny in here as well. Maybe Gilius, we'll see. Yo, Yamato. Hello. Bro, right. what, do you, what do you think of C9 draft game one? <laughs> the same as you, brother. <laughs> what, you were watching what I said? No, I wasn't, but I know you and you know me. <laughs> okay, all right, good. So we're on the same page. Yes, sir. Look, we were at C9. People in there. But C9 wait, is really? the epitome, bro. Wait, oh, wait, there's 21 members. Wait, I got some members on, on YouTube. Okay. Members. I got members, bro. Yeah, let me members. be a member. I'm gonna sign up to be a member right now for our Dominate channel. Absolutely. Let me be a member. I'm gonna be a member right now, oh, man. A member, okay, your motto is gonna be a member. I'm gonna be a, our Dominate member. I'm better than all of you except the other 21. Yeah, except for the other 21. I don't even have things there, but yeah, thank you for the gifted memberships. Being second place, Nate Garrett. Garrett. Thank you, thank you. That's not something you can do. Well, C9, you know, they've been drafting for two years now. I hate it they, every time. They, the way they draft is as they think they are so much better than everyone. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> bro, they draft like they think that Fudge is somebody who he's never been, bro. Like, they would, they could win summer if they, they're like, okay, Berserk is carrying the games. Let's just... I just pick simple champs who are gonna set him up for success and then carry the games. No, yeah. they, everyone needs to be the GOAT at that team. No, yeah, no. When I look at, at C9, I'm like, okay, I want JoJo on something that can carry. I want Berserker on something that can carry. Everyone else play things that like set up or like round out the team comp. Boom. That's how I would draft every game. 
Like if C9, bro, if they had Wunder or Bwip, like they, they would be like the perfect role players for these homies, you know? Yeah. Something that they're not delivering. No, I mean, they should literally just be looking for like I, I said. So, my read the reason why I thought C9 was gonna win this series is I thought they would come into the series and they would be like, All right, Fudge, you've been like running it pretty much all split every single game. You're on Cassante, Udir, or Renekton. That's it, you know, and you're just playing uh, your role. You're gonna play like whatever lane is the best for you in the circumstance, and we're just gonna leave you on an island do other things and you know you'll just be useful no matter what oh kind of clean damn oh shit i'm behind you shit oh shit 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 let me let me let me show let me show but it was clean you're not wrong dude it was fucking clean okay jojo just lands that w dry bro he needs nothing on it with the skill shot both junglers knew that was a big deal both junglers knew that wave needed to crash jojo and blab were the ones who execute and it's a massive kill Oh, In and chat, yeah, JoJo just ty typed regular season matters. Good job. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Damn. <laughs> damn, JoJo just hit him with that. Regular season matters. Good job. Yeah, and I mean, I think damn. Exactly why you pick it, right? You want to get ahead early. Bro, you model. I played against my first scripter in EU West. Oh, after how many games? Uh, I played. I played ten games. I played against one scripter. Damn, okay. That's honestly pretty decent. Pretty yeah. decent. It's more than that on average? Bro, like, you get a heart attack when you see a Kogma or an Ezreal in Champions Select. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got an Ezreal, bro. <laughs> he did some crazy <laughs> shit. I was, like, looking at the, the game, ghost? like, because in the game I didn't accuse him. You know, I'm like, damn, it feels like a little sketch, bro. Maybe this guy is scripting. My chat was telling me that he was scripting for sure. Then we watched a fight afterwards. Bro, his reaction. This is the best player I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> He was fighting on like one Uzi. side of the screen and then he just threw a random cue behind him like and just hit the fucking Velkaz out of nowhere. I was like, holy shit, this guy is good. Gee. Oh, it's surprisingly with, common. Yeah, I played with another guy named Pentacle Adolf. Yeah, I saw that, that print screen I saw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Bro, I got three games back to back. I got Scripter into somebody who actually just inted like 0 17 and then i had a 4v5 but at least we won the 4v5 oh we won one out of three it's not bad okay okay i'll take it solid solid stream sesh yeah it's a solid eight and two did you your first four games you played them off stream yeah my first oh, four games i played stream. off stream okay because you you surfed those those were easy peasy for you man yeah 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 they turn on the stream and, you know, <laughs> all hell breaks loose. No, stream went pretty well. It was just that one game. But I'm also playing like zero delay, you know? Yeah. yeah. Inviting everything. Bro, Jojo just hits 50 W's or what, bro? Wait, he's killing him. He's solo killing him. Whoa! My lord. What the fuck? Also, bro, how one do you feel like it is if you're Jojo Pion and you see this guy come back to lane with an Aether Wisp? Or not no Aether Wisp, but fucking uh, boat, Hello. Sorry. Hello, Crowny. Yo, oh, Crowny. I thought you weren't live. I, was, uh, I didn't know where to Nah, okay. bro, I just... I got out late. What happened? Wait, uh, so, okay, this game won? Okay. Uh, Quinn is getting his cheeks separated. <laughs> really? Jojo's putting it up oh, in him, bro. Wait. Bro, he wait, hit a dry W off? on him, they ganked him, and then he said, he said in all chat, regular split matters, lol, and then he for sort of killed him. Yeah, they <laughs> sort of killed him right after. Like, for real or what? Or yeah, yeah, for real. Oh, okay. <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Oh, by the way, how boring is, is, is Smolder not the most boring champ that's ever yes. been released? What? It's so You're crazy. in good company, brother. You're in good company. Yeah, we're smolder haters over here. Oh, so boring, man. Holy. At least there, like, there's some outplay, but smolder is just like. I don't know. Yeah. Not for sure. Right. Mm. Fixed it. But the team comes pretty good. Like, Wait, hold on. DF against smolder. Jojo has the flash. Oh, he's just dead, isn't he? Oh, maybe not. Damn, River. Just let him know like that. Yeah, that Jojo ulted out as well. Damn. Wait, who got first grub? I didn't see. That's one of her flexibilities as we're fighting in bot lane now too. Mm, is Fudge running it down on purpose? 
finding the dredge line on Vulcan, locking him down. I think blue side got back up in the top first. Side. This could wait, why is it not showing? Right, I'm back. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. Yeah, they got, they got a first one. Oh, he got one. Okay, cool. He smites at the very end of the health bar just to guarantee. Wait, how did the lead die? I missed it. He Jeez. ran it. Uh, Huey, he just either team was too deep and then got Huey ulted. Still a 1.3 thousand gold for Cloud9. But that Bro, that champion is broken. Is very necessary for Good to hear voice, Cranny. It's been a while. Early game to win <laughs> it game. does, yeah. They need to survive early game to win I hope you're doing alright. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, okay. It's huge. Oh, Mine is good. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Wait. Can't ask for much more. This guy's just dead or what? He's dead, yeah. Damn. I feel like... I mean, I feel like C9's team comp is pretty good against like smolder though. They have like uh, Senna and TF who are both like they're gonna be high range eventually, I guess. Yeah. No, I mean, I think the so. team comp is fine. It's just like this is. I think that if you watch C9 all split, you're pretty scared when they play a comp like this. Like Berserker had maybe the yeah, worst pro. Senna we've ever seen. Oh, when he had like 60 souls or something. Yeah, he had like 50 souls at like 26 minutes. But I'm wondering how that. But was he playing ADC or like support? He was playing support. He wasn't no farming. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think you know. I think they don't know you need to be next to a jungler on camps, you know, because you can get like free from. I mean, he has 41 spawn. souls this game in eight minutes, but he had 50 souls in 26 <laughs> last time he played it. <laughs> oh, I keep for sure got like flamed by him. Like... Yeah, he got flamed by Edward. I flamed him. Yeah, but I mean in the team. <laughs> oh. I hope Mithy so. gave him. Mithy is a giver for sure, man. Yeah. He's a giver. He just runs down their draft and then flames them afterwards. That's pretty based. <laughs> Wait, it's kind of what Clearlove did. I thought Mitch will play TP. But I guess he wants clans against TF. But I don't know. A cleanse against TF and you make your lane face so much worse. So much harder to play. Oh yeah, I saw when he cleared off was hard playing Fisher. Did you yeah. see that? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty base, bro. Like, you suck. If you continue to suck, you'll no longer play for the team. <laughs> well, that's base. Yeah. I, I, they're probably releasing... I, like, EDG fans must be fucking livid about this split. Like, yeah, like yeah. Oh, yeah, we course. think, we think, like, we think, like, KC and Mad Lions fans are, are something, bro. Imagine in, 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 in China, bro. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, especially when you're... Bro, they climb trees to figure out what roster is playing, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's also because, like, the team was so good like even one year ago they were like almost winning the split before like the leave drama that was yep. the craziest part <laughs> that was the craziest yeah, yeah. thing ever yeah. like before he hard played his jungler they were like second in the league yep. <laughs> they were like so good and then it just never it never came back he was so he looked oh, so pretty good pretty good play oh. nice he's just dead yeah. no, no flash yeah, don't ult for it or anything. Shut down, okay, big. Type some, big type something quick. Big, big shutdown too. Five Blame his mother like or something. <laughs> That's a lot of gold. Yeah. Evens the mid lane. Yeah, shutdowns are balanced, I think. Yeah, for sure. Had an extra 150 gold bounty. I think it's so goofy how the shutdowns are made. He's actually a yeah, no. It's like the average gold generated from one specific source. If you're above the average, you could generate shutdowns. It's, it's so dumb, yes. Uh, it's... I don't know. It's I understand why they are in the game, right? Because no, no, they they for sure should be in the game to a certain extent. But the way they're made is a bit could be improved, probably. Yeah, no. I mean, I think that there's a couple ones that are broken. I f the the yeah. worst is the the three kill shutdown, the six hundred gold one. Yeah, that, that was crazy. Yeah, like, that one yeah, is so, so many crazy. Times on top lane, like when you get, if you get the six hundred, you're actually yeah, like because yeah. you get so much XP too when you're behind. Like the XP system is dumb too. I think when supports when supports get kills and they're walking around with like a 300 four shutdown, it's just like FF. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know shutdown, it's free because like, okay, you know win. he's gonna die. Like, yeah. then, yeah. like, like when the support is 3-0, you know it's probably lost because the one carry gets that kill and then okay. Nice. Did they happen in a fucking competitive game? What the fuck was it? The Nautilus uh, carried all the kills. I don't know. Maybe it was a Rakan. I don't yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Was like four zero. Or I remember it happening. Yeah, yeah. I just don't remember the game. Because Senna can actually be a monster. It was crazy. Um, and if they can again spread that pressure around the map, ah, which fuck, is what I'm seeing from Team Blue. Fucking smaller. Not like they don't get early leads. It's uh, like fourteen to five, right? Yeah, fourteen to five with hotfix. Uh, so, 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 yeah. wait. So they play TF, is, TF is still nerfed, right? 
Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Still playing. I mean, I think now you just like, no matter what, you just go to Shiva FC build and you just play him to stun, pretty much. Yeah. I think. Which has always been a really broken part yeah. about TF. No, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But he just deals a bit less damage. But I think Gold Card is still OP as fuck. And he has still cheats the game in gold. So it's like. Like, look how much gold this guy has. Look at top items. It's so dumb. Like, and Shiva is so cheap. Oh. I thought Ella would ult that. Like, I thought yeah. they would full send everything. M maybe they can force like a TK oh, clean. Yeah, but... clean. Oh, clean. Clean. Mm. It's a bit hard to get lethal because TK can just eat and then... I mean, that's no, why like I just think... burn everything on TK because he's taking oh, the tower getting... as a bummy, you know? Getting TK yeah, yeah, on, bro. they could try. I think me should be playing TK. Yeah, uh, Berserker is... Okay, actually, just keep the guy alive and stack on him. Oh, wait, does he kill? No way he kills one, right? Yeah, he does. Oh, he does. big! Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, does he even die? Uh, he does, he does. He, he has flash, he has flash. He has flash. He, he uh, might live. He might live, he might live. If he is well. Oh my god, no way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Honestly, couldn't they fight that if Berserker yeah, yeah, didn't yeah, abandon yeah, yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Berserker they could, they abandon could. him. They could, they could. They could. Yeah, but I, Berserker, I, I, I mean, I can it. understand why Berserker plays it safe, though. Because he probably didn't think that TK can win. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I didn't think it either, bro. <laughs> well, come on, this champ with gold early, it's like fucking, like Thanos, you know. So broken. Well, 71 souls is kind of mad. Yeah, bro. Well, he, he has wait, more he souls the, now than he, he had that worst game. soul stacking yeah, setup to the yeah. best. Yeah, he let this have more souls this game than he had that game at like 126. <laughs> Oh, he doubled his souls. <laughs> I'm gonna actually tweet that. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, the Berserker improvement. Is this the North American solo? It's a troll to see TK taking literally zero damage. Yeah. Uh. Uh, Yo, if, if there's a patch release like 14.6, mid playoffs, they just switch to that patch? No, no, no. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> no, because that would only be for like finals or something, right? Yeah, yeah it would be meant to. Because <laughs> no, the no, next no. patch kind of changes the game a lot, I would say. The support item? What? Yeah. Yeah, they're buffing crit. Smaller. I think it's going to change a lot, you know. I think it's going to go back to crit. Buff jungle. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Alia has TP. I don't think he cares, right? By the way, is like Mickey Way split like the best split ever from like a rookie? Yeah, probably. It's, it's mental. mental. It's like since it's like. Really mental. I mean, we literally had a conversation and Monty brought up like Monty was obviously LCK caster during Faker's debut and he said that he thinks that Milky Way's rookie split is the best rookie split since Faker. Yeah, probably hot. like this guy. Yeah. Like, and I thought about like, it, and like, my my initial reaction was like, Nah, bro, don't say that. Like, what the fuck? Like, you can't be saying that. And then I thought about it. And I'm like, Wait, he's probably just right. Well, yeah, because because he's carrying against teams that like, if you look at his roster, it's like nobody would expect, and he's just like <laughs> one behind every game. It's like unreal. Yep. He's, how, he's how well pushing crazy numbers. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. mental. It just feels like he has like anything he goes for just ends up working no Works. matter what. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like similar, similar to what people expected from Bowen. Yeah. And before your motto fucking ruined him. <laughs> the, the, the difference with the ball is just like, bro, you're surrounded by four world champs. Like, he's surrounded by four goofballs, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he Come had burned on life while Bo had, like, full world champs, though. So. Yeah, he's playing with like a duck dog who's washed as hell. I mean, they make like a life squeezing rumble support, fucking yeah, do life killing, missing, nice, yeah. <laughs> missing ruler. Uh, they are goofballs, man. They but are you know, really this, this, this is good to do. Like, you, you know, you're not going to win standard, you know? So, what's the point yeah no it's 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 actually i love to see that about lpl teams yeah. that they actually like play into what they believe their strength is and they don't care if don't it's not an optimal niche. strength so nice. like my favorite player is able like he just picked a uh, twitch again twitch yeah and yeah. now <laughs> yeah. like oh, it's like the worst like I'm, oh. i was like oh he got, got it, it. He still got should be flunk. really oh my god that kick flash was terrible no wait they can lose this fight no oh uh, okay they're out I mean, of tools they should chase I mean, whatever they still don't break. But I think they get, they at least get some kills. 
spacing from Fudge was... Oh, yeah, I think Fudge could have played it a bit differently. Yeah, he could have played it more aggressive for sure. I mean, he could just flash the hook. He could just flash the hook and get a stun, but maybe... I mean, this is like a robbery from uh, her teams. They get Drake and the kill. Yeah, yeah, they just win the game robbery. because uh, they got Drake. Did they actually win <laughs> they just won the game. <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they just like auto win the game. No, they don't auto win, but they get like five minutes. Yeah. But there was a game in LPL I was watching, and one team was losing, and then... Just kick him, though. No. The... If you're Blabber, just kick him away. Oh, oh wait, he has he no kick. kick Does no, he have no kick? Have no, he doesn't have. He doesn't have. Wait, are you and sure? And then the losing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look. When did oh, he? Wait. When did he actually kick though? I think he though? just got it because it says on the thing that it was on cooldown. But... Yeah, but it's but that shit is bugged. Half the time. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What the heck? When would he have kicked? Last kick sure, he did sure. was on Zen, no? Like when he killed him? He probably just had kick. Yeah. But on the spectator, he said it, like it was like bugged. But I was watching a game and then like the the smaller team was losing and then I was like hmm. But it's smaller. And then literally the next fight, they just win. And I'm like, mm. exactly. Like, was it so the LNG bad. game where they penta? Yeah, no, no, not the, not the Gala penta. That was the worst penta ever. Like, I saw the match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was like, bad like, Gala! Gala! Oh, the next Kaisa! The next Kaisa! And I was like, okay, guys. This hey, Mato, is like, Mato and I died when we saw that, by the way. This is like three times worse than Zeri pentas. Like, Zeri pentas, <laughs> some of them at least look good. But this is just like... Nothing. He just it's so disrespectful too. Like it's what to spit some people, you know. Yeah. That's it. But they, you, like uh, it's such a bad boring sign. It's crazy. It's just so bad. At least they're nerfing him. Yeah. They're taking him out the back and shooting him in the head three times. <laughs> God damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, a bit, yeah. And I'll celebrate when it happens. No, but it's not, it's not as big as people. It's not a 270. It's staying at 225. The the, the execute is just being reduced to 6.5. You know. But, but it doesn't scale. Like, it doesn't scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Of course, it's a it's a big fucking nerf. But I, I initially thought it's 275 and the damage nerf. I was like, okay, this is gonna be like 40 percent win rate job. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be happy with that, bro. Well, of course, it's, it should be. It's just so fucking boring to watch. I just played a game in solo queue. I mean, it's fucking piss elo, but my smolder DC'd for four four minutes in the beginning of the game. And he came back and I was like, yeah, he's just gonna be used to the whole fucking game. Got 225 yeah. stacks in like 35 yeah. minutes and then he just actually was just one-shotting yeah. everyone. He has yeah, no yeah, items yeah. or anything. It's, it's, yeah, it's so tough, it's so tough. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the worst design ever on the chat. Yeah. No, that was the thing that triggered me when I read the 14.6 uh, changes is they're like, we don't think that there's a fundamental design flaw with Smolder. I'm like, literally, that's the whole fucking problem, motherfuckers. Like, that is the problem. Like, no, the, the problem is just putting an execute on a, an unknown skill. Like, you know, they could just make it a skill shot or something to make it like harder to like proc or to yeah. make it double. Or, or make it not interact like, with rapid fire it, cannon. Oh, yeah, there's so many changes you could make. Other people can't show. Because if you show too many people at once, Cloud9 can guarantee their numbers of vanish. So they didn't Why does his mom heal him? This bothers me so much. I don't know why he the mom heal him. Okay, bro, why you, 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 had, uh, you, have, you have mommy issues. You can cry on our shoulders if you want. <laughs> your mom never healed you or what? Like... Nah, bro, she healed me so much. Okay. It kind of makes sense then, no? Yeah, yeah then, it, then it makes perfect sense. No, about what you make... Okay, so, so we're talking shit about Smolder. I'm dropping this thing. Like, why did they add heal on this ult? Oh, okay. And you guys are just fucking uh, switching. I mean, Sides, to, to, to just make fun of me. Okay, to, my to bad, me my what bad. Make, to me, what doesn't make sense is that is that he's full physical, but his passive is magic. That's yeah. what doesn't make sense. Like all his abilities are physical. Why? Why is his ult cooldown like 110 seconds? The fuck? Yeah. What's wrong with his ult cooldown? There's a lot of problems, bro. Yeah, it's true. Is bro, going BT second. Uh, I think he just bought a vamp for lifestyle, and now he's going to show you. You know, okay. but it so doesn't make sense because he, he already dodged lane. You know what I mean? I mean, he, he looks yeah, really yeah. poor to me. He looks poor. <laughs> he's, on, he's, not, <laughs> he's not thriving. You know? He gets no allowance from his mom. <laughs> Oh, his ass. Bro, this guy has 100 stacks. Wait, I wonder if Berserker just is like, damn, this champion is so much better with stacks. What the <laughs> fuck? They missed an important hook. Oh, good kick. Good Here kick. Comes the wow, that was really well played. Bro, I feel like this game has been uh, higher quality than the recent weeks of LCS. LCS? I, I don't know. LCS. Oh, okay. Yeah, because LCS, like, so the last couple weeks have been pretty rough after the, player, the break. 
<laughs> but this game, like, all the plays kind of made sense. Like, people were like, yeah, I think what is this crazy. fucking wall? Okay, whatever, bro. <laughs> I just won't speak. They get it, they get it. Wait. Finish it, finish it, bro. Finish it. Wait, bro. No? They have turning half. Yeah, yeah, just finish it. Finish it now, blubber. Blubber and finish. Yeah, just finish it, bro. <laughs> I have to say that I don't get why 100 is fucking forced on 186 fucking stacks. Like yeah, they were the ones forcing so, it's this. So, it's, it's so dumb. Like uh, Sinan can never do nat 5 5. The Drake is up. Worst case, you give this one and you fight four for 225, yeah. and then you can just probably win. Or you just like it's close. you just like soft contest it. See if fucking smaller yeah. can get some stacks, and then you leave. Yeah, you literally like yeah, just play for 225. They force. They force. They pull the trigger on this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They TP'd and everything. I mean, I guess they thought the if the hook hits, maybe it's different. But uh, then again, you're like banking the game on a hook when you are when you have smolder. It's also Aatrox could push top for free here because four people showed on mid, and I think they can defend that mid turret with the gems they have. Yeah, it's a bit. TF was on tier two. I, I don't think they need, they need to do that, but now the game is hard. Because if they traded like tier one for the Drake, like they're so happy, and then they have stack and maybe even smolder item for the next week. Yeah, no, for sure. That, that's, that's yeah. Bro, is, no, is Berserker going to beat Smolder to 225 stacks? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, he almost <laughs> has more stacks than the Smolder. <laughs> oh, but the, the, really, the biggest difference is if you just take camp souls, because Krugs and Raves give so much. You just need to be next to the jungler. If they can find a flank engage or see any window, I mean, just in lane, he was just getting, he was just farming stacks off Nautilus, bro. Perma. Yeah. In fact, one of their wins against Cloud9, they were also down about 8,000 gold. That was a game where Berserker Zeri had a pen. I mean, I like the the kick into like gold card combo there. It was pretty nice. Yeah. I respect mean, they have so much range that like, it's like this Atrix can do anything against enemy champs. Against the Leah, TF, Senna. Like, you're behind. What can you do? You can never get them back, man. And if you do, you get kicked away or yeah. can't catch eats or... <laughs> bro, this is kind of like Prime Vulcan right here, bro. I remember when he was just running the fucking region with Tom Kench. With, TK, with his men? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sven Vulcan, Tom, Tom Kench, Senna, Senna bro. They ran yeah, this yeah. region for an entire split. Yeah, with Niski, no? Yeah, when they, they oh, ran. Like, that was... That, yeah. I was talking about it, um... Like last week, because there was like some trivia question. But they said something about like what was like the best bot lane performance that we've seen in LCS, and I was like, that that was the best bro, bot. Lane. That was the best team I think we've ever had in LCS. Crazy that they didn't make worlds like that's so nuts. Were they top lane liquors? Uh, yeah, it was licorice. I mean, they were literally like they were like thirty-five and two to start the split this season. Yeah, I remember like they stomped spring. Yeah, they they stomped spring, and then they like they stomped spring. Then in playoffs, they like dropped one game in playoffs. I think there were 17-1 spring. They were like 9-1 in playoffs, and then they went 9-0 in um summer. Yeah, they just like start. They just started by just shitting on everyone. Mm -hmm. Fair play, Georgia Pune, Fudge stepped up the skin. Yeah, no, this is uh, Fudge. Fudge played well. What, what do you guys think of the ADC games? Mm. Uh, it's hard for me to judge. I mean, it's week one. I, there's just some teams I really don't like, bro. I, I really hate Rogue. I can't stand them, bro. They make me mad. Every time that they're about to play it, just my blood starts boiling. Did you watch that game against BDS? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I, uh, The fact that they oh, won that Lord. game is just crazy. You know what was the craziest sequence there? What? When, when they caught Labro and it was 4v5 and they all base and then proceeded to contest the Nash 5v5 instead yeah, of 4v5. Yeah. I've ne that was crazy, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. We were screaming at the screen. We were all screaming at the screen. But, like, but don't, you just, was don't, you just, don't you just try 4v5? It's better because one champ is dead. Like, no, still no, no. More, like, they had like, Kalista as well. Like, there was, yeah, yeah, there was yeah, but no... Even, even if you get tempo, like in theory, tempo, but enemies back up, like, why not just try 4v5? It just makes more sense. You know? I mean, and they're just they, the most passive team known to man bro they just like they refuse to like walk up to turrets like they don't they don't yeah, leverage they their leads at all yeah yeah, yeah yeah they took like no towers yeah. 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 Okay, got to four items like <laughs> yeah but they also they also like they fucked they fucked up the nash fight like they could have for sure won that they, they yeah, yeah. like but, the yeah. Kalista flash and the gragas yeah. combo <laughs> the, the, Gra the gragas combo cancelled the knockback of the something and like the, the knockbacks cancelled each other or something and then Kalista didn't flash fast enough because I think if they go same time, they win. But... 
Yeah, but there was so much like I saw so much small there. I was like, oh, this champ is so boring. I just made a tweet how bad his design is, and every time it wins, I just retweet. You know, because it's so boring to watch. It's so boring to watch. Like. I feel like there's no now, skill expression at all on the champ. Sure but look, yeah, now. look how useless his vamp yeah, was. Wait, what is he building now with pickaxe? What? Week of Cloud Nine, if he's buying shield bow, I'm nah, very I've disappointed. That. I've never seen that before. Yeah, shield bow is one of the worst items in the game. I mean, it's it's pretty bad. Yes. But Freak just said, okay, AD carries, you need to build shield bow. <laughs> <It's so bad. laughs> I like this guy. This guy is funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, oh, you guys died too fast, just build shield bow. Yeah, but it's like the word, it feels so shit to buy, you know? it's like nobody wants to buy shield bow. Yeah. I guess, I guess it's just going Navori, that's, that's the one. Bro, it's crazy, yeah, but AD carries so weak. Fire, do you know? AD carries yeah, yeah, such yeah. a weak role, but every pro team is banning like 15 AD carries. Every game. No, I, I don't think AD carry is weak, you know, I don't think it's weak. So it's just like... I don't, I don't think any of the carry enjoys like small they're being OP, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I agree with that. Fucking... They just play for soul here, right? It'd be free. Alright. Yeah, Sniper has no TP ward. Maybe yeah, we can TP on both ways. Yeah, soul and Talia will turn his free, no? Yeah, there's no way they enter, like, it's, they, they look so... Okay, oh they my god, god Berserker long. damage, holy fuck! Berserker, <laughs> realize what... <laughs> It's like, he just oh, two tap oh, this shit, my oh, champ with souls? What the fuck? He's like, wait, souls are broke in this patch. Holy shit. Oh, shit, we're bro. hooking on to Blabber? Ain't no way, bro. Oh, he's so close to death. Bro, he's, he's having so much fun now. He's fucking ward queuing. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's having way too much fun. They were actually able to win an eye contact 5v5. That's kind of the break point they needed to hit in this game. Yep, yeah, respect to C9. I underestimated them. They delivered. Same. I didn't like their draft at all. Based on their current form, I thought this was way too hard for them to pull off. Agreed, agreed. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, if, if Berserker suddenly knows how to play Senna and Fudge is just like one of the best top learners in the region again, then the draft is fucking awesome. They have complete control of the map too, right? So yeah. wherever 100 Thieves are trying to fight them, they have to ensure that their setup is so good. Berserker's locked. I mean, this this might be his best game the entire year so far. Like Berserker had a really rough split. Yep. I think 100 Thieves is about to flip something. Okay. That's the way this is might feeling. Well. I think they are at the Baron Pit, so they would like to get Holy. there as well, and they want to fight them. I think that's their... Five seconds for Fudge's ult. Chance way of winning this game. It's not having no TP. I don't see how they ever break them. Double Hourglass too. Like, it's yeah. so unrealistic that any red side champion dies. You're down an infernal soul. Your opponents have total control over everything. Item advantage is pretty much everywhere. I'll put it at five. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it at five. Blabber also played pretty well, but I mean the best players on the team this year have been Jojo and Blabber, for sure. Oh, okay. Wait, TF is looking weak after the nurse. Yeah, they just oh, it's unplayable or something. I can just build the same oh, where's River going? I can just build the same items and just go to people the same. Oh, yeah. Some people are putting just three points in E and then maxing W. But I was, I, I, that was exactly what I was, I was like, hmm, does that just change his ma ma max, like, he just max W, because that's the most OP spell anyway. Like, but two seconds down is a bit crazy on, on W, like, but, but, yeah. but you know, the most broken part is that Shiv is 2.7k and it just gives you perma push, but, and it's so cheap. Yep. It's like... No, no Shiv so is crazy. Cheap. Shiv is crazy. It's Dude, so I, lo I looked at the stats. I didn't realize the stats were that good in comparison to like Storm Razor. Yes, yes. When they buffed Shiv to 2.7, like it was right when they buffed Zeri by 3 AD. And I was like looking, I was like, wait, Shiv is 120% gold efficient, which is like insane, right? Or yeah. like on an item that is so cheap and that you will uh, finish 400 gold faster than Storm Razor. This is very insane. Like, yep. and it's like so. Yeah, if you yeah, saw that yeah, shit, you're like, my so career is saved. Practically <laughs> 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 not. Wait, no. Fuck. Okay, it's fine, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, bro. Oh, shit, In, so man. in summer, we shall bloom again. In summer, we shall bloom again. Yes. 
Jojo throws out the That's a Goblin Arrow song. Still trying to defend Rivers really? in mid, wanted to clear that wave out. So Could be. Nine can't just bounce back and forth between <laughs> <the> two. It's like Chad just <laughs> all awares <laughs> instantly, bro. <laughs> Do you know where is like one of my most spammed emotes? That just tells you what type of streamer it is. Like you look at like fucking casual chat, it's XDD. My chat is just only awares, bro. Mine is only Drake White. <laughs> it's only Drake. That's what type of streamer you are, bro. You're a Drake White streamer. It's just the best emote of all time. <laughs> Ready to go in mid. That was already cleared out. Bottom lane's also not ready to crash. So C9 is going to regroup, reset. They've still got another 75. People join my chat. It's like 3 a.m. I'm like, welcome, motherfuckers. We're all one day closer to death. Get ready for the stream. I will say, as far as 14,000 gold. Ah, finally started going to dream series, you know. Good shit, good shit. Does that make sense? Yeah. It was about time. Bro, Yamato, the gym we went to today, Gilius and I, like the air was fucked up. Both of us like did sets and we're like, we're like, bro, are you dizzy? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just dizzy. So we both were just perma dizzy, bro. <laughs> like, you know, like you do like a set, like you go hard and like sometimes you like, you're like a little like woozy when you're done. Whoa. Oh. Did you say Ayla flash? No, yeah, the woozy air. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just flashed on the spot. But it like didn't come back. And then after we left, we're like, yeah, the air's <laughs> fucked up in there, by the way. It just smells like armpit. Yeah, dude, dude, I, I don't know, bro. EU gyms, they're stinkier than NA gyms. I'll say that. I smell some sweat in European gyms. <laughs> Uh, some stinky German people in the gym I'm in. I respect it, though. I heard them plan as fitness at those pizza days. Oh. Really? Oh. Oh. All right, this is Smolder moment. Come on, Smolder. Yeah. Make me proud. Oh, he made wrong. you proud. They made me proud. Death. Sweet. Death makes us proud. That's what makes us proud. <laughs> he died of Viking death. Just ran it down. Dude, this is such a big game for C9 too. Like the implications of this game on draft. Because like this is what I think that 100 Thieves would want. Like they, they would go they would go into this game being like, okay, Berserker's on Senna and Fudge is on a carry. Like this is probably the best angle that we have to beat them. And then they just smurf on it completely. And now it's like, okay, so do we ban Senna next game or what happens? Is it just a 3 0 round? <laughs> I don't know, bro. You tell me. That's what it looks like. It just smells like 3 0. Smells like 3 0. It smells like musty European gym armpit. Everyone is. Everyone is full racist against Smolder. That's what he said. Well, I mean, it's like. It, God, that, uh, I had to stop myself. I yeah. wanted to say it's justified, but it's not <laughs> I mean, it is. Smolder is like, it's pretty hateable, bro. Yeah, I mean, it legit is because, and like, even the people playing him, nobody thinks they're skilled playing him. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, no. Like, it's not like anyone is like, oh, I'm fucking smurfing this Smolder game, bro. bro. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is, man. When I watched LWX perform well and look good on Smolder, I was like, champion's gotta go. If LWX is making it fucking work in 2024, oh, holy saw, um, fuck, it's gotta go. Saying he saw, um, he's so washed up, right? Yeah, he's yeah. so washed. He's so is washed, it? it's crazy, bro. Re re is it that bad? Or? Yeah, yeah, no, like, he's, like, it's, like he's actually washed. Like, it's never getting better. Oh, it's yeah? over. Yeah, it's over. Oh, okay. Yeah. They are so okay. Bad. Aware. They so much credit for this game. I feel like that is the best game I've seen. Cloud9 play in months, honestly. It's just never uh, getting better, is it? Bro, Kobe, uh, Kobe said the same thing that we said. That's like the best Cloud9 game that we've seen <laughs> in months since the beginning of the year. I point out some things that are really intelligent that Cloud9 did, and you might not be able to see during the live game. One of the biggest things was how quickly Cloud9 started out with a lead, and Blabber deserves so much credit. Quid actually has Flash. But look how Blabber hovers. Crazy the confidence you're gonna just land the dry W. Jojo goes for this seismic shove onto Quinn. Yeah. He's thinking, oh, I well, don't know. It is insane to hit just hit that. Look, the on a fucking so low, mechanical player like Quid. Like Quid is not not bad, bro. But 
blabber comes from outside of vision hovering around with there's no reason to alter that minion yet though yeah. if we roll it through then that was clean by blabber too like they just went you're just dead and he blows the flash afterwards too so as you already know they do a repeat there jojo gets a solo kill and cloud nine start their early gold lead Another really good example of Cloud9 out right. was in the box. They're just doing it with a live replay. Someone's standing like behind the back and like just fucking moving it. There's no replay package, no nothing. <laughs> Someone's just using the mouse. <laughs> Respect, man. Bro, I Magic like that shit, bro. Make it, I, I don't care, bro. Get some job done. Let's fucking go. We'll see. Sniper is the one who's going to try and teleport in. They're like, we got to put a stop to all this pressure. Cloud9 bottom lane is putting on us. They use the ultimate. Berserker, look at that. He dodges in to dodge the Q. Uh, Sniper got so little value out of his TPs. Yeah. It's a rough uh, game. Snare. I mean, this is like, they, this murdered their entire tempo, right? Like, they have the TF kill him top. And then he TPs bot. And then you get 3v2'd. It's fucking done after that, no? Yeah, so. Berserker's coming up. Uh, Bro, Yamato, what are you watching tomorrow? Are you watching Hanwha Life T1? Are you watching FPX IG? Oh, it's so hard, man. Yeah. It's so hard. Tough. Like FPX IG, I was really excited for the Leia Milky Way matchup, but now it's kind of skewed. Like FPX have been stomping and IG has been kind of losing the buzz. But yeah. Leon play, is playing pretty good, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy has been hyped. Nidalee, bro. Yeah, yeah, this guy. I remember when he came into the like three, four years ago and people talked about it. It was perma event every game. Yep. Like it, yeah, Leon, Leon was it was good. I mean, he he looked kind of sketchy eventually on RA, but I think that that's just... Uh, I think, you know, sometimes you just don't thrive in the team. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just you're on a team, you know the team's dog shit for just years and eventually you just need a change of scenery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, this guy hasn't been in playoffs in like over two years. Yes, but... Really? So much credit Aware. It's just the way it is. Did I take allergy medicine? Did I just take a pill chat? Tell me if I just took my allergy medicine or not. I'm, I have the bottle in my hand and I thought I was going to take it. Oh, bro, it happens to me too, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I took that shit. <laughs> Senna ultimate, you've got Talia ultimate, and you have... Bro, I almost OD'd on Magnesium once, and ever since, I have a system. Bro, how much of Magnesium did you take? Bro, I think I think I took two, I swear I took two, I took six. But one time, I did the grave mistake that you should... I took zinc, zinc, zinc on an empty stomach. The worst possible thing you could do, you just puke it out, by the way. You, like, you, you legit just puke it out. It's so horrible. As a zinc poisoning, it's like you have a taste of metal in your mouth for like days. Okay. Most people, most people said too. we didn't take it. I believe it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it happened in, in Korea to me. Yeah, like, but how? How did you get poisoning? No, it's like I just, like I had like these zinc pills that had too much. Too much? It yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. Uh, it was like, they were already too much. Mm -hmm. what was going on there, so. And I accidentally took two, and it was a disaster. Oh, 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 oh. It felt like my stomach was like on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's legit. Yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. Like, it used to happen to me when I took multivitamins once on an empty stomach. And then I'm walking, and I just feel that. I'm, you know, when you know you're gonna puke? Like, when, when you feel it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so bad. Like, Really good in game number one. We're gonna have you just to have to FF them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just FF. Yeah, 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 dude, I'm always hoping that I throw up quick when I get that feeling. Because the worst is when you feel that and then you can't throw up. It doesn't go away. Yeah. And then it just go. And then you're like there for like an hour, like hoping you yeah. throw up, and then you just don't oh, throw yeah. up, and you just sit yeah. there, just you're in some pain. It sucks. It's, it's so humbling after. after it's so humbling. Yeah, no. Afterwards, you feel like so good, bro. You like drink it's, it's water, you like the, fucking yes, uh, like sweating, yes. like. Yes, yes, yes. It feels it's amazing. Such a, like, relief, yeah, relief, relief. Wait, so who's like favorites in the name? Cloud9 and FlyQuest? Uh, yeah, or probably. Probably. Yeah. I mean, some my... people believe in, in NRG because they got it together mm -hmm. last split, but they've been looking so sketchy. It's like complete coin flip if they end up being good or not. I have one of those chairs on the screen. If anyone wants to buy one, let me know. 200 euros. 
well used. Not well, well used, used actually. Like, I mean, well used. I don't think not that's used. What I want to say. <laughs> so, not yeah, used. Not I, used. I, I don't think they want to hear well used. Not used. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like used with care. That's what I was trying to say. Hey, did you guys watch Dune or not? Mm. Dune too. everyone, I'm Fudge from C9. And I'm George <laughs> from C9. And today we're reading the spiciest takes on Reddit League of Legends about Cloud9. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Do Cloud9 think they can just outhand everyone in LCS? Yes. 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 We think so. Yes. Yes. Nice. When's the last time Fudge was a factor? It's <laughs> rookie year. It's been all downhill since then. What do you mean? He's a factor for their losses. I mean, they're not Any wrong. Any comment? Right? They're, they're not wrong. They're not wrong? You know, today I shaved the beard because back then was... Yeah. <laughs> You didn't have in a beard? No, Fudge lost so much weight, no? Really? So I shaved the beard and we won in so much. So it is the beard, though. No? I think it's the beard. Was he ever thick? NA, Aram is I think so. Mean, but God, has C9 never heard of a side lane, LOL. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like... like for sure, like two, three years ago. Really true, but... I mean, I, I, I can't recall, man. League of Legends was, so I agree. They, I don't think they know what a side laning is. I don't think they know what grouping is. I don't think they know anything about matchups. Really, I think Red is pretty smart, no? They definitely know what they're talking about. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I don't know, no, no. I was so busy reacting to SL winning in 27 minutes, I forgot how bad that dive was. Seen better dives in Bronze 4. Do you remember the dive? <laughs> I don't disagree. I agree with that. Bro, low-key, League players are better when they're fat. Thoughts? I said Fudge looks so much thinner now, no? Do yeah, he does. He does, right? Yeah. He's also does anyone remember now. Fat Rookie? <laughs> bro, bro, Fat Rookie was the GOAT. Oh, fat yeah. Rookie, Rookie was fat? Yeah, was, bro. Like, oh, not, not fat, Show me a picture of Fat Rookie. 2014 fat, Rookie, bro. Yeah, yeah. Or the, you know who? You know who? Bang. Bang. Bro, like, SKT Bang, you know? When he was like overweight, he was smurfing, you know? Here we go, bro. Here, you're not gonna even know it's the same person, by the way. Here, I just linked it. Let me see. Take rookie. In, in general, you wouldn't even know he's the same person. Where, where is it? Where, where did you? Oh. Uh, it's uh, at the bottom. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I don't know what talking about, but I agree. He's not that thick, man. No, but That's he's like, like compa I mean, compared he's to now. Too. Compared to now, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the game is free. No, but just the bang. It's just the it's just the hair, no? No, 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 no
Yeah, first but first split on, on IG, bro. Look at this. No, the best one is ba Bang, by the way. Look like at 2015. Bang. Look at look 2015, Yamato. Wait, what? Does this not link the actual thing that I'm. Hold on. Here. Here. That's, the site is goofy, man. Here, here, here. I, I, I link like this. Maybe you can see now. Oh, 2015 is is looking. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's got that BDD look. So make sure to hate on us some <laughs> what does that mean, bro? Thank you. <laughs> I agree. He's ready to throw some Tare rocks. Well, Jesus. Once you said you're only as good as your last game, and Reddit only remembers your last game. That determines if you're a god or not. That's true. Well, I think they're gods then with the last game. That was bro, he was so bad. good in 2015. Yeah, he was. He, he was, was so good. With the, with the top 15? Yeah. Get him counter pick. It was so sad, man. He played with some goofballs back then, man. Yeah, he played with some. He was playing with kids, this... bro. Kid. He was playing with fucking what's his name? Zizita. Did he play with Zizita? He did, right? Yeah, he did. They get the counter pick for Fudge once again. If there's gonna be any change. Fucking cacao. Things are pretty standard. Hecarim and Scano. His Hecarim was spoiled by Tabe. With the Vi, so the Vi and the Nico. I can't believe God V ran it down so hard as well, man. God V was so legit. Oh, that guy, but that guy was hyped as the next big thing, by the way. I mean, he, he was, was actually good, bro. though. Do you remember that? Like, he was hyped as the next big thing, and then he queued the wrong way. And he, yeah, and then, then it just ruined his entire career, bro. <laughs> and then he started playing PUBG, you know that? <laughs> yeah, he became the fucking <laughs> god of PUBG. That's so yeah, insane. He him switch games. Yeah. Like he was so right. hyped before, right? he was hyped as like the next big. Bro, his Diana was clean. Yep. Like bro, LPL playoffs were like fucking fireworks well, back I mean, then. We also had, like, like Diana matchups. Bro, you remember his name change? Like Wayless to God Vio. No, he he changed to Pain Evil. Oh, bro, his name was Pain Evil, bro. You can't just name change to Pain Evil. <laughs> Hey, go on, the fuck is that, bro? All ladies are out, only Lucian is in. What are they playing against Lucian? Oh, yeah, it's Lucian. Uh, they can play Aphelios. Zeri lane. They can play Zeri Lulu. Lulu Zeri. Yeah, Zeri. Zeri was always a Berserker classic. Yeah. Zeri Lulu is pretty standard matchup. It's like pretty... It was better for her before when she could rush a shield ball. But it's for sure playable now because they can just get Shiv and I always want her to speak. Wait, am I behind? Yeah, I'm failure. Yeah. Priest on this. Okay. Okay. I, I don't really trust Meech, Ayla, Aphelios, Lulu, though. Yeah, I think, I mean, yeah, but do you trust their Zeri Lulu too? Like, I, I, I was reading that. No, actually, no, that was wrong. I, that was about FlyQuest. I was reading I, I comments was, that... Huh? I was gonna say I would just trust like a, like a Nautilus lane or something for I, 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 I think I could go Aphelios Nautilus. Like, I think either he goes very Lulu or Aphelios Nautilus, you know? Because yep. you have Ari, then you just pick a ganking jungler for five, like there's enough, and you just play. Yeah, yeah. I think it's very hard here because they are contesting the same jungle pool and C9 on red, like... Under I mean, Thieves, any plans they do yeah. just fuck themselves. Gone. Like, I mean, true, yeah. top priority... Zin's our listen. Yeah, I mean... Zinzao, Lee Sin, Volibear. I think Volibear is probably the best for 100 Thieves. <laughs> yep, yep. I think that Zin is kind of not good here, to be honest, for 100 Thieves. I don't think... I kind of like it with Lulu and... Yeah, I mean, I like it with Lulu, but it's just very easy for C9 to just kite the Zin here, I think. I think they would need, like, uh, Kesanto on top then. With the, with the Zin if they pick it. Yeah. Like they can also go the other route of picking like Aatrox Rel or something like this. I just don't like when you do that with an Ari. I feel like with an Ari you need like, you need to have an AD jungler that can come mid and like release pressure because Ari versus Nico is not going to be good in lane. Yeah, I just think like if, if you're dropping jungle on blue, you have to be ready to compromise on 4-5 because you're just contesting the same pool. Yeah. Like maybe they could pick Viego into Lee, maybe that could be a move. Or... Yeah, I mean, it's like a... It's just so hard to find a top laner with that, that makes sense. Yeah, I think it depends on like what the circumstance of the game is, but here in Toulouse, a lot of the options that you would want to have for River are gone, like like Jarvin, for example. It, it is interesting, though, because they are kind of... A bit I mean, I think uh, so far C9 is winning the, the draft. Ooh, Wukong, just like that? Wow. 
like because it does. How 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 big of a chance is it that Wukong goes top? Works well with a lot of gold. There's no way that's in the state of mind. Depends on matchup. Well, I think I mean it's non-zero if they pick a bad champ, but I think it's just general. What is it gonna be? Just Volibear Aatrox? Probably Volibear. Yeah. You need something that can force her. Yeah, I would go Volibear here. Just kidding, but I'm gonna do one trick. I would just pick Uder. Ari with the like new build is pretty strong, no? Yeah, it seems pretty yeah, good. Really solid. Like, I think my Ligna is just so OP. Like, this yeah, item is so stupid. Yeah. And then he goes with like Jace or something like that. <laughs> then what do you go here? Horizon focus. Another, you know, like, uh, wow. I don't, I don't I really like that with what they have. Kindred. Ish. I, I'm not, I don't like Kindred into like, yeah, Wukong with what they have. I don't That's think that their lanes are good enough like, to allow Kindred to actually like invade and stuff. They're, yeah, they're not. I, th yeah. I think C9 won this. I agree. I think legit they needed to pick a tank jungler here because then we showed Wukong on four. Well, you have to commit to winning one of your lanes, you know? Like, you can't pick for jungle because your lanes are too, how to say. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think this is a game where the jungler thrives. I think you need to either play for mid or play for bot this game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they need like Seju, Rel, something like this. Or... I don't see what jungle they can pick to pair with Ari to beat uh, Nico. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It could be like Lee, but I don't know, like Lee Aatrox or 5 is so rough. Kindred ult expires is going to be beneficial for Cloud9. So that's the only thing to look out for for me. All right, well, I think it's all eyes for Cloud9 fans on that bot lane. Will the Lucian Nami succeed? Let's find out as we're going to hand it over to the casters to take us away. Well, they're all wearing Crocs. Did yeah, you get five yeah, yeah. person? 5k? No, but they're not showing toes anymore, no? That's why, um... Oh... That's why I think... Showing toes. Yeah, it was open to Damn. Play. Okay. I've never enjoyed Crocs. I don't like the mushiness yeah, of the yeah, soul. Yeah. I have, I, my, my, my feet sweat easy. <laughs> but it's like eventually with Crocs, there's a noise when I'm walking. You protect marks. You have a mid laner like, if not Nico, then even Annie or something, or a Karma or something where you are supporting. And that carry jungle style comes from. Oh shit, they gave Milkman the shout out. With this composition, it's really interesting for two. Ah, it's disrespectful to Milkman. <laughs> Comparing him to a river. That way around river when he's carrying, it's something more that on the river should be humble. A lot about team fight targeting, how we affect. Be compared to God Gilius. Lane is also really interesting too. All right, as we're waiting for the players to get into the PVP of the game, we're gonna go toss things down to Mrs. Chim Chim and her interview with Golden Glue. Oh, it's muted. Oh, she's spitting. She's spitting. Oh, this is embarrassing. Holy. Oh, God. It's mute spitter. Oh, Wait, God, what? please. We picked a little bit too much scaling. We wow, they just they muted her question. Was it really that bad? We more scaling, but we weren't able to fight early, which is one of our big strengths. So we picked a better comp, I think, that lets us fight more early. Ah, Golden Glue cope. Better cope. <laughs> better cope. Well. Forehead. From some snow bowling early, so yeah, I don't know. I, I feel pretty good about game two. And what do they need to focus on to make sure that they can secure this win? Um, we were talking about just giving each other confidence to fight. I think last game we couldn't really fight early, so sometimes you get in this mindset to where like you never want to fight. Um, so just giving each other confidence and to take aggressive fights is going to be the key for us. Alrighty, thank you so much. Take aggressive no, fights. Casters. But we have like. Losing lane mid. And we have like so, not so many buttons to press the fight. I, I can, based on how Ayla and, uh, and Misha are playing this, yeah. they, they don't know the matchup. But well, you can't they, do this on a failure. That's for sure. But um, they don't know the matchup. On in game one yeah is quite encouraging like if you were to like you need to run sweep and you need to play for hp like and then yeah, on yeah. W, of, of w of lucian is used you need to pressure way harder hey, Lulu, Lulu needs like full control so this is actually pretty good by vulcan and and berserker they look kind of like in yes. well, they have more potion they might have more like they're up and they need to get up a potion, you know, the team a level slot. two. Led the league in combined code per minute. It was actually higher than teams. In 2022, teams like uh, Hilly and uh, Upset played 2v2 against the Ruler the Hands. Mm -hmm. Ruler the Hands in this matchup. Oh. Yeah, 
they were really like hands were smurfing or what? Damn. The hands is the best Lula I've ever seen. Like, there's no one that comes Wait, close. Is Meech? Meech is no ghost, bro. Is he just dead? Meech is dead. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Yeah. He can't do this. It's impossible. Oh, it's a first blood for Wukong. It's for Wukong, Wukong with the first blood oh, is so OP in this and, game. And he didn't even like really skip camps, no? Like, can the Kindred even still blue? I yeah, guess he can. Still he blue, can still blue, but blue, but who cares? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Man, if a Wukong is accelerated this game, it's like... like they have like Wukong Jax against like AD. Ooh, he doesn't, he can't get his mark. He can't get his mark here. No smite. He knows he has no smite. <laughs> Yeah. But what, what, he was just insanely good at spacing on Lulu or what? Yeah, it's like, you know, when you play 2v2s, the nuance of like yeah, your damage limits like... become so much more clear, right? Yeah, and I don't know, like just, just his spacing and like how, how, how smooth his auto attacking was and mm -hmm. like area awareness, bone plating awareness, like all of oh, these yeah. details, like mm -hmm. just flows together to like a fucking symphony, you know? Yeah. And then they do it like in unison and. It was like really, really like the best practice. But Genji were machines, bro. They would scrim like 10 games straight. And then like, I asked them, can you do 2v2? They're like, yeah, we, we have time at 1 a.m. So, okay. Now, fuck it. Yeah. 1 a.m. So do we'll it. Just play for oh, one that's hour. What it, that's what it takes, no? Yeah. That's worth it, bro. I would fucking wake up at... I wake up at 3 a.m. for fucking BLG versus fucking RA and bullshit. <laughs> I would wake I would wake up in the middle of the night for that. You like how Jojo has been playing aggressively. I like how aggressively Blabber has been playing. But yeah, yeah, the range match really like matchups are way more nuanced than like the you know melee versus. No flash, no flash, or no smite. I mean, oh, he's so oh, sad, bro. Mean. He's giga he no out tempo and he loses grubs here. Look, what he can't play anymore. He, you can see, but you can see the first two levels. He doesn't know how to play the matchup, so you know the game is like. I mean, I'm not gonna say the game is lost because of that, but on these matchups, like as a failure. You need to really bait out Lucian W, click back, then space him, then like keep hitting the minions, and then on blue purple you need to like all in, you know. But yeah. these are like things. Uh, for sure, these new AD carries don't know this, you know. Yeah. Uh, like I think the the range matchups on bot have oh. way more, you know? no flash. I don't think he kills though. Oh, he does whole conquer, bro. Yeah, no flash. I don't even matter. Like, I think this is still very good for Cena. I mean, they have one K lead still. Yeah, they got all through grubs. They, they have to find a way to like camp mid and then play into bot, because yeah. otherwise, Aphelios can't play the game. Look at his item. Look at look at CS. Yeah. Like, he can't play right now. Bro, do you guys like conquer on um on Kindred? Kindred? I, I I play PTA no. every game, bro. PTA is better, no? You I think PTA, PTA is better. You have, to, you have to fight. You have to fight. Like PTA your conquer giving you 10 AD more or 15, 20 in like a mid game fight is not gonna do shit. Yeah. Wait, what does Milky Way run? Does he run conquer every game? Where he's going to be. Not but was this yeah. Milky Way guy known for playing like Graves Kindred in like the LDL thing? Like, is he was just always carry player or like? I don't know. I never watch LDL. Okay, okay. As we see River still hovering around bot, seeing if he can make something happen, but outside of that one kill, hasn't really been able to get much. Exactly. There's just not looking like a whole lot of opportunity down here. Still point. Uh, Wukong has a bit of the Jax problem. Like uh, he doesn't scale and bang as hard as he did on previous. In the previous year, yeah. Like he can, he can definitely like fall off, and he doesn't like pack the same amount of oomph. But definitely, this game, like in this condition, is really yeah. fucking OP. But yeah. it's just not, I mean, not the same as last year. <laughs> yeah, last year was crazy. It was just free win on Thunder, though. Like that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I mean, he has enough threats this game that I think he'll be fine. It was like Jax, Nico. Armor value is crazy this game as well. Yeah, that, that's what I said. Like, they're against full AD, kind of. Like, not full, but like 4 AD with Jax and Wukong. Like, that's very good, I think. Push those two things together, and you might have Cloud9 running away with games as they did in game. Oh, Tabby first on Sniper is pretty bold. Yeah. A little risky. Well, which seed is on her tips? Second. It's about to be uh -huh. break as well. Yeah. You can see Blabber in the <laughs> they're 10 and 4. They almost were first, bro. They were tied for first. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah they were kind of smurfing. Okay. 
when your lanes are just winning and they had two more wins than c9 in regular season but i feel like in best of fives if you're like side lanes are weaker they can get exposed in laning in, in, in like deep best of fives you know what i mean yeah in like best of ones it's a bit different because i don't know like c9 fucks up the dive and then the game is just over you know but yeah it's also they don't pre-record drafts as well, so there's no like prep time or you can yeah, like go on and set up as well. So, so, so in LEC, you literally have set up to, to prepare or like 10 minutes or what? Yeah, yeah. it's the same. LEC, LCS is the same. Like you legit have like 15 minutes to yeah. That's crazy, talk right? about the draft, talk about level one. You can even have a PC, you can warm up, you can do one v ones Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? What, what do you think like? Not about the less delays. I'm just thinking about the competitive side. Like it changes everything, right? It's yeah. like, Don't you think? Like, I think this is like way less about because before you could end up with a draft that you didn't expect, and then you'd have to think in the moment, okay, let's play. Oh, okay, we're gonna play like yeah, this. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a skill to it, right? Yep. Yes, yes. Like now you just say, okay, let's play this like this. Let's do the level one to three. Oh, let's play our lane like this. Level one. Uh, we try to invade. We like, get to go this bush. Yeah. Especially like from from coach's side, it's like the time I have in Champions Select is very sacred. So it's like I'm very focused yeah. on like my world economy. Like what information do I want the players to like echo in the game? You know, it's like you're very careful about things. Yes, I mean you also had to like you had to like how to say it like respond on the spot. You would have a new draft. Like some there are so many times where I ended up playing something I never expected. You know what I mean? And then you have to like, think about it on the spot. But now you just have 15 minutes to talk about the matchup. You can just fucking Google the matchup. Or I don't know. It's like <laughs> I think PC it's, 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 it's like. Uh, like there's no um hey, you have no internet access oh, okay, so okay, 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 okay. <laughs> like, i got worried because fucking human it's like i know my draft yeah, not time to yeah, look up I saw that. to I look saw up how Joby plays the matchup bro isn't kindred gig a week for this fight yeah i don't think i mean i feel like they should be complete i feel like c9 should be really comfortable fighting this i don't know why they're so scared i mean ayla is here first that's why but like once nami gets here they should just fight i think Oh, he got hit. Good charm. Ah, maybe they can't. Wait, are they really not fighting this, bro? Wukong level six, Nico level six, flashes. I mean, they were they were a bit like a split. No, they were all on one side. You know what I mean? And the Ari looks pretty strong, no? He hit a good charm. He chunked. They were a little bit behind in that top lane matchup. I'd say that Charles Yeah, I just feel like the AoE threat is like so insane from C9 here. Also kind of auto path towards bottom lane because he has a static shiv and I feel like he wants Oh, maybe they can make a play bot. Play gold for himself, but if he'd passed out towards mid, they could Oh, Meech is in trouble, bro. Later, but now they're If TP get a keeping by. Oh, he's rush shiv. They're just going anyway. Also, you know, you know like this matchup, right? Um, overall, it hinged clean, a lot. Clean, 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 clean. They win, right? Oh, another ult, another ult. You have to ult the Q. You have to ult the Q. Quit. Oh, he did it. Oh, oh, wow. nice charm. Wait, wow. He's working, no? Wow. Can he get out? No way. Yeah, I don't no, know. No, he's dead. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe he can make well, a run. I mean, make he, he can run for a bit. I mean, he's he got died. tier two he boots. Died. He's just gonna die to Nami. Yeah, but it's not that bad to, for Nami to get. Ah, uh, Nami will get mended now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but but you know, like the bot matchup hinges a lot on the fact that at one point Aphelios can trade while Lucian pushes, but if he just rushes Shiv, there's no interaction because. The, the waves are probably pushed in, right? So then it like makes it way better for Lucian. Yeah. I think also uh, Shurelia not being a mythic, like Shurelia was really OP for, for this matchup. Because oh, really? you always Shurelia the ult, right? Yeah. And like, then the move speed on E was really yeah. broken for this matchup. You needed to you needed to run run Lucian down, but now he just pushes and then the Aphelios is getting traded on the tower and he can do yeah. For sure, it's like rough, more rough. I think also Meech under the turret could, like, it's hard to flash the Niku, but I think he should have flashed away from Lucian, because yeah. he knows that's happening, right? Probably just yeah. down towards the Lulu. Yeah. Uh, yeah this I don't think he can die then. It's a very why there's an R next to Blabber? What do you mean? Which poses 
like our blabber. Oh, it's, yeah, just, like, it's a bunch of blabbers, it. bro. Yeah, but they didn't crop it correctly. <laughs> yeah, whatever, bro. So far, bring between Quid and Jojo. We pose the question to you now. I believe we got a poll that's about to be in a chatter. Might already was more valuable to his team. Guys is more valuable to his team. That's been probably Jojo. Specific question that we're asking too. It's not just who's Jojo's getting paid more. Fighter or whatever. More value. Nice, bro. True. River is what enables Quid to have the improvement from last split, but Quid has also made several massive individual. I remember had this guy every time I was costuming. Oh, see oh continues to make jesus i like for this guy to get mandate back. gap current <laughs> game every time i see those this guy who all he did was uh talk about why reckless was signed and it, that it was for branding purposes so whenever reckless like ran it down he would like say some version of well at least they are selling a lot of jerseys <laughs> there's always some variant of this and he would always like catch you off guard <laughs> after you're out of the lane after you've hit this first item power spike you don't even I miss that kill, guy but Meech is so yeah. what happened to him bro you banned him that thieves can nah I honestly like I, I think my channel has the least amount of banned people really I tried to rehabilitate like really dege degenerate people dude I banned some dude some dude said hey Bob what do you think about the LCS ma LCS match later I banned him instantly <laughs> yeah he was just banned he called you Bob or what? yeah he just called me Bob it just pissed me off bro <laughs> I was in a good mood too. I don't know, bro. Just call me out of nowhere. I'm like, don't call me yeah, fucking Bob, bro. I like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Triggered the fuck out of me, man. <laughs> yeah, I was so mad, bro. I, <laughs> like, I was, I was after it. stream. I was talking about going. I'm like, can you believe this motherfucker <laughs> called me Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Shit pissed me off. Yeah, somehow Kindred got 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 uh, a little crack in action going. Yeah. This is well, a better have Kraken at 14, bro. We are 14 and a half minutes into the game now. Plates have fallen. Laning I mean, Kraken is this 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 Aphelios is in the dumpster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no Drake to contest on the other side. What he's got to call? He's chilling. Might want to do something about this. <laughs> Sometimes the people that don't ban, they come into my channel. It's like I'm a 14 month subscriber, and all I did was ask why he's sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was another one. It's like, bro, it's like, obviously I'm sick, right? Like, I just traveled 40 hours. I'm obviously sick. It's like, dude, uh, like, why are you yeah, sniffing? Like, it's like, all right, bro, yeah, what do you want? Okay, I just, I'll just kill myself, I guess, bro. Like, what do you want from me? Like, yeah, perma. I don't do like. Oh, Ayla. Oh, Ayla, he's here, bro. Oh, no, River. Oh, Jojo. They're fucked, bro. They're Holy. fucked. GG. That's a triple. Oh, wait, that's a double. Oh, triple. Like yeah, it was an easy promo. <laughs> like you need to do the map, so he's a 40 month subscriber, so he paid you like how much? Like hundreds of dollars. <laughs> So one hundred dollars. No, I, I unbanned them though, like after a bit. You know, like I perma them, but then I like unbanned them. So it's like at first they're like, "What the fuck? I can't believe Dom permed me." And then like one day later, I unbanned them. Okay, okay. okay yeah. but it's not like I was thinking like those one hundred euros not warrant for one stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, it's like two hundred, yeah. No, it doesn't. GG. Did they just just send Ayla to death, man? Yeah. Uh, but I'm, it look like it. It, it took a Ryanair flight, bro. bro no leg space. I mean, if you look at this, why would you ever want to take this fight if you're 100 Thieves? You're on no power spikes here. It's the same hey, account. I really just hate Ayla, bro. <laughs> That's Honestly, a flight, if I played buddy. with Ayla for a full split, I might do the same. Like the Ryanair flight, but it's like they think they say that your backpack is too big. You have to pay 40 euro before you board for no reason. Yeah. No leg space, you're sitting next to someone that is eating way too many Snickers. <laughs> that was very, very specific. That's Ayla on the plant. Oh my god, what oh, happened but, here? But he, he was decent sometimes, or, or is he... Uh, he's been okay sometimes. I mean, he's like one of those players where he makes just a lot of like very obvious egregious uh, like, misplays. So like his... He's not as bad as he looks sometimes, I'll say that. Yeah. It's just like when Ava ints, it's like, yeah, it's just like the ho most horrible. He's like the type of dude that would like flash forward and flay in the wrong direction, you know? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I remember. Actually, Rinse on better. Jinx. What was that, Winsome? Both yep. are so similar. Oof. Oh, man, and what's happening here? Oh, my God, they're just getting murdered. 
Bro, if you get stomped, and if game one goes like that, and then game two goes like this, are you not just getting completely fisted game three? Yeah, of course. I mean, maybe maybe they will completely change their strategy and like, you know. They need more buttons, bro. They just straight up need An more buttons to press. The corner is dangerous or whatever they say. Yeah. Nah, yeah, Golden Glue said in the interview that he drafted stronger early in yes, this one. Like, yes, he said, he said, that is like, this is doomed. You know, it's so troll. You know why? Because he says, I drafted more aggressive, blah, blah. But the only way to fight is if Sinan fight into you. Because yeah. they're the ones who have the go buttons, not you. I mean, exactly. Uh, pretty much what he said was, last game we had Smolder. This game we have Aphelios. That was the, yeah. <laughs> that's the gist of it. And our bot lane doesn't know how to play the matchup, so. Yeah. Maybe you get 100 thieves back in the oh, game. Look at bot lane. It's just, the oh, they're suffering, bro. It's like Rookie against Berserker when he's in his comfort zone. It's just doomed. Bro, how disrespectful would it be if Fudge goes over after the game and untucks fucking Sniper's jersey as the handshake? Wait, why, why? Gives him a wedgie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I bet Missy went through the same shit as me. Why are they picking Lucian Nami? <laughs> All they do is pick Lucian Nami. Lucian, do you not, Yamato, do you not know that in the West, Lucian has a 0% win rate? <laughs> Wait, is that a, is that, is that a meme that I'm missing? I mean, that's just no. what people said, bro. That people were just so oh, mad yeah. every time Lucian Nami was picked. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think, obviously, it's not easy to pull off, but people pick it for a reason, right? Because it works. Yeah, I mean, it's actually, I mean, it's just good, you know? Like, it's just a good lane. Yeah, oh, my sure. God. What is JoJo doing? JoJo's a psycho. What the fuck? He's having too much fun. Ooh. If one guy asked if the solution build is then good, it's good because Shiv is so cheap. <laughs> it's good because it's good it's Shiv is OP. All right, next question. Yeah, literally. It's, it's good because Shiv is OP. Oh my god. And, and Thank you, Bob. Line, That's it. It's better than... than uh, yeah. Oh, Meech wants to fight so bad. Oh, it's so sad. They're so outclassed, bro. They're so outclassed. GG. Oh, that that makes so Jojo Pew's comment even more based, by the way. And it's like everyone said that they are free. <laughs> it's a pretty cool segment how every player just said these guys are fucking frauds. <laughs> yep. Oh, we're just giving turd gold to Nami. Fuck it. Main issue, the thing is, people think it's a Lushinami issue, but the issue with most Lushinami teams is they they learn how to lane with the champ but they, they don't, don't learn how to, how to win games, games. Yeah. They, don't know, they don't like like, like, like what's op about lucian army right like when you see t1 play it or like when you say billy billy play it like their solo laners are farming every fucking way because the lucian swinging is huge nuts in the enemy bowling's forehead <laughs> forcing <laughs> enemy mid top jungle to show their ass on mid and they're farming every minion you know yeah yes. I mean, you like need Bin, to... Jax, Bin, Kennen, fucking yeah. need to, T1, you, Gwen. It's, it's way more about mid game. You need to know how to either hover with jungle or mid so Lucian can dash forward and then use the pressure he creates to actually get leads because eventually he'll get outscaled. But if you just play Lucian into Zeri and the, the Lucian is Tensius up and then the Zeri gets... Like, like mm, this is what's up. Oh, this is the masseuse, man. Masseuse. Oh my god, it's like this, bro. This is a, oh, this is a, this is a tough one to come back from. I think it's a free. Uh, this is murder. So what was the other matchup? Uh, the other matchups? Yeah, like yeah. Is the other like, upper bracket is a uh, FlyQuest yeah. versus TL. Oh, okay. oh yeah, TL is the other two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Are, they, are they okay? Nah, they they're they're. I mean. Impact is good, no? That's Impact is good. Mm -hmm. APA is like very champion specific. He well, plays. Always, yes. Yeah, like always. Um, Yeon is. But you know, you know who was really good at Worlds? We screamed at NRG. Palafox was really good, actually. Yeah. He was like the only. Yeah, they were getting. Like, yeah, he was, he was really good. Yeah. yeah, he's good. The things that he, he impressed me. We'll see if uh if NRG gets their shit together. They've been yeah, pretty fraudulent, bro. They almost missed was, playoffs. Was, yeah. yeah, but I don't know. Maybe they lost some steam after like Worlds or something. I mean, yeah. 
Oh yeah, they, they changed support only or? Yeah, they changed support only. Ignore who he. Okay. This is really bad. So, last game you were saying, man, this feels like probably one of the least powerful 14,000 gold leads. I mean, we're almost up to a 14,000 gold lead. Good game. Ibrahim? It's Ramadan, Ibrahim. Holy shit, wait. Dude, actually, if you're competing during Ramadan, do you actually just go to the studio completely hungry? But don't some people play sports? Like, I know there was a guy in the NBA who used to yeah, actually yeah, yeah. play. It's obvious. Saleh, it Saleh, really the, the fucking Liverpool GOAT. I think he was fasting while playing. But, like, the NBA but is there's, different there's because a lot of the NBA games are at night. You can just, like, eat before you play. Yeah, but it has to... It's still, it's still like, harder to... Yeah, yeah for sure. Doing it normally, you know? Like, if you're just having a normal diet. You know? We'll take down the first inhib over in mid as they're waiting on Fudge. That was really far, bro. Okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that distance was like... crazy, bro. <laughs> that was like the most max range, Nico, you could ever go for in your life. I mean, you can only go for this when you're 14k up. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> never work. Ignar was better than Huhi? No. I think that the team was just playing better. Like, it was way more cohesive before. I feel like Dokla's playing a lot worse individually than he was before. He had a really good summer, you know? Like, he just leveled up, I guess. Yep. And he's really good in summer. Worse or something. He just cycles, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see how they play when it comes to playoffs. Because, I mean, Jace is uh, back in the meta now. That's one of Dokla's best champs. Wait, who's your guy's favorite player to watch? Period. Like globally? Yeah. I mean, Milky Way is so hard to not want to watch right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Milky Way is quite okay. hey, let's say one, 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 one more besides him, I guess. Cream is fucking fun to watch. as like like top esports, man. Mm -hmm. Today was a bit rough, but yeah. in general, like, the top esports as a roster is just fucking yeah. perfect. I always like watching, like, even though 369 has had a bad day today, I always like watching 369. I love uh, Abel. Abel is my favorite. Yeah, Abel's a psycho. I mean, he's been like extra bad this year, though. Like his fucking no, Twitch it's... game, I hated him for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but like in summer, he was having some crazy offensive games. He was like one on so hard. Yeah. Nah, I mean, he was my go but for a bit. Who do you think was the best on that OMG roster? How would you rank the players? Aki was the worst, right? Uh, probably, probably Cream was the best. Shanji second best. Abel mm. after that, then PV God, then Aki. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. In every lane yeah, that makes now, sense. For C9 as in once I think On is fucking great to watch as well. Yeah, yeah. On is, on is yeah. hilarious. I mean, I personally just... like watching Hang a lot. I feel like Hang's pathing is like really good. It's like one of the main reasons why WE wins games. I just like the way that he like he just he kind of reminds me of Inspired, where like if you go from like Inspired's like camp to camp decision making. It, it's just it's almost perfect you know like it's it's very rare that inspire yeah. just goes to the wrong camp or he doesn't like, waste time no he, he's very efficient he's, he's very efficient but then also like if things happen to him he's so good at like adapting quickly like if somebody invades him and takes one of his camps like the way that he, he figures out like what the next best thing to do is is like just almost instant it's just almost always perfect when i watch his stream he, he's like camera like his gameplay is so smooth it's like very good camera control, <clears throat> very good, like, efficient camp clearing, you know? Mm -hmm. He doesn't, like... Because some POVs, like, are very... You know what I mean? They're, like... Yeah. Choppy? Bad, I don't know. Choppy, yeah. Just, like, wasting time or, like, not watching lanes or... Mm -hmm. I mean, not only jungle, just any POV. But, yeah. you know, he's, he's, like, the most efficient in, in you all. No? Yeah. I think Hang is like that, too, where, like, Hang's just decision of, like, okay, I go here to here to here. Okay, I need to play around these lanes. Like, he just understands fundamentally what he should be doing almost all the time in the game. Wait, is, is Stars on teamless? Yeah, yeah. He, he might so be Tarzan joining just, NIP. Yeah, yeah, but it's so true that he doesn't have a team because he lost to the world champs when... I mean, it's partly he, like he didn't... He wanted to... Oh, he didn't want? Okay. Yeah. Probably not gonna happen. Is also just well, was he a big part of energy's success or why are there so much work? Yeah, yeah. So weird, no? I think he, he had to be, right? He had to be at least that. Like, Bro, I heard no, some crazy very good right? jungle, no? He was a very good jungle. Wait, you want to you wanna hear something about Tarzan at Worlds? I can't, I can't say it out loud. I'll type it in the, the, the Discord. Right in general, please. Dude, I love King. This like the story. GG. Georgia Pune, Nico. 
Olha, dá outro aqui, tio. Cara, isso é crazy. Eu estou agora. Eu agora, Ain't no that way, is... bro. I can't say it. I can't say it. Chad. That is the craziest <laughs> story. <laughs> that is crazy. I can even probably give you a source. Hold on, let me see if I can. Wait, that, 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 that's so good, no? Like, that's so good. That is that's so funny. What a G. <laughs> you, you know, in the end, uh, everyone is more similar than you think. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even the, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Even the, like, <laughs> like you know, if you, if you, if you don't put, If the opportunity is there. Ain't no way, ain't no way. C9's early game across, so not only does he have pushing lanes, but he's really making the most of it to track river. That's nice. All right, game number two is round. Imagine everyone is like a playing solo queue at 3am. Can't say chat, can't say. It's crazy. I'm only human. That's what I mean. Like that's what you realize, no? Like, like everyone has this. Oh my god! They gave me the iPad. Honestly, we also had Courage in the background there. He was like, "Please don't show this to me anymore." Bro, it looks giga doomed. You guys can, you will never guess. <laughs> you will never guess this give up. It's like, give up. Drake wide shit. Drake wide. It's some cheese shit. I will just, I plead the fifth. Look what I wrote. Right back. I think they left probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then they slam it home off of what was a grub play it was actually a full move from 103 wow sick is this review room they have man from getting six grubs yeah. so instead of it's mental the fight, they left berserker down bot side and they just rotate down towards bot so great you took three grubs who cares your Ophelios is, is a grub for the rest yeah. of the game like this guy is useless they dive him yes there's some things here that could have improved jojo could have played this more Fuck sake, LCS. Yes, give me co-viewing right man i will make your stream make your region proud three grubs for Let me in. having an ADC for us the game. Yeah, Berserker just ran a tra uh, like a train through him. Like not only was he 50 C Let damage, me in. But anytime they were trying to play through mid lane waves, Mitra's getting chunked to uh, about Hello. 20% oh. HP and then the incident happens uh -oh. and that's Berserker. I got it. We got to pause it. No. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> what was what was that river? <laughs> We got a suspect over here. He just assassinated his own teammate. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly how that happens though. He flashed and he was trying to right click to run away. Yeah, he clicked. And you right click it. right on the blast clone. And Get that Vul sus out, out of there, Kobe. V Vulcan, Vulcan is going, what the hell, dude? And they all die. That's that, like that's game right there, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this this one was oh. Sludge was also a monster. Uh, two games in a row. Has Raz live on so, on Broadway. Broadway. He just said they ran a train through them. But Fudge definitely is. Ain't He's no way. A lot of flames so yes. far this split. Yeah. Uh, some of it justified, some of it I think a little bit hyperbolic, a little bit un unjustified. And That's crazy. The, games, the Twisted Fate was nasty, the Jax was nasty, Cloud9 really looking good. These are some of, you know, it's not just is Cloud9 back, like these are the best. How many people did they have to fire to buy this screen? Games where they came out mm -hmm. looking pretty hot. I think these are cleaner games. They're, they're more so dominant. bad. They're so bad. This they had it already, bro. They had them building and they like fired them. I had time to prep and they are prepping for one opponent. They've, they've, I'm What if there's just, it's just four people five. holding up the screen right in the back? That. In this game, I wanted to talk about, uh, Just a little bit more bro, I hate series like this, bro. I don't know if you played series like this where you're just getting smacked. Uh, I, I did, but uh, it was only two. It was against fucking dumb one at worst. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was only. Wait, was it three games? I, well, I don't know. You weren't playing three. No, it was two. No, it was two. It was two. Yeah, but uh, but you know. Yeah, you. But you know, it's like you're just outclassed. You know. Yeah. You just know. So it's not like you can do anything. No, that's how it. Uh, when, when we when we first time listened the blank in the whole year, I, mean, so like, uh, I knew I was like, hmm. okay. <laughs> okay, we're we're digging deep. 
<laughs> we were all hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was kind of hmm. I can't see. It was not my, my face. What do you mean? You didn't come into the... After post-match. Guys, we need to pick Leb like Lee Sim, bro! <laughs> we gotta, we gotta shut down Showmaker Nico. For a Showmaker Canyon? They don't know shit about these champs. <laughs> So, no, I mean, sure I've have played series like this where you get smacked in the first two games and then you get into the third game and it's like, you just like, ah, oh, man, you, it, it's not even about, win. it's like, let's just try to fight back. Like, yeah, we gotta it, just it, fight it, back at least. Whole, but, but that's why so, many times that you can actually take a game because the other team gets a bit cocky and like, and if you change your strategy, you can like surprise them a bit, but they need to change it. They can't play the same way. Yeah, yeah. just do what they do. They, they cannot. That's our strength. They go towards that in game two, where they can have some more scrapping in the early game. They are supposed to be able to compete. You still get run over. Wait, what is the um, like business? Did anyone see the LOL Esports stuff? For game three, yeah, the model, gonna the new business like, model, gonna, what is it? Yeah, I, I like, you can buy, like, you're going to be able to buy in-game things that will finance the teams. Oh, my the God. Yeah. I can, like, have a fucking C9 mm -hmm. jock strap on my Udyr? Yeah, I guess so. Holy... Because they were getting stomped, and that's still happening here. Hey, what about creator codes, so, right? I feel like ah. the draft isn't going. Oh, nope. sure, okay, never mind. Sorry, tools to make it so apologize for uh, breathing can all in on the early game. So, you are uh, what, what, what? Oh. Uh, no, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, the true. The game. So, greatest example was literally the second replay that we showed where the Wukong's going for like a bot gank off the information of Kindred going mid. Like, if you are stacking a wave and you know you are vulnerable, you need. I have to read the whole thing. I probably just save it till tomorrow. Make it into a clip adjusting our League of Legends yeah, esports strategy in 2024. That's a good reaction from Blabber. And, yeah. and like you're saying, since Kindred's on vision, you know he's not going to be there and, and they punish him. I feel like a number one on 100 Thieves list has to be. Please, we gotta do something. It's a dark day really in game. Texas, <laughs> bro. They shut down Pornhub. Pray for us, please. Wait, they shut down Pornhub in Texas? Ain't no way. Pornhub's the devil. Uh, damn. Bro, why is he saying pray for us? That should be a good thing. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> this guy likes Pornhub, bro. No what do you fat, want bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no fat, bro. Come on, bro. No fat, okay, bro. <laughs> Can't farm cheap dopamine like that, man. <laughs> Look what I just made. The perfect pearl. Not too bad, but check this out. Whoa. A true Venus clam. What is this false advertising, bro? The new Red Bull Sea Blue Edition with the taste of Juneberry. <laughs> Wings for every taste. Oh, the Red Bull watermelon goes really hard. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, bro. Dude, some of these Red Bulls are so good, no? They are all over the light. The light blue one. And the watermelon one. Red Bull gives you wings. The fuck is a Juneberry? I have no idea, bro. Juneberry is um, they're like the I think they're, they're, they're the small um, the small they're small like blueberries. <laughs> they're not blueberries, but they're like blue. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, on some pictures they're red actually. I think it tastes like, um, I think I had that one, the Junbear one, it was really good. I think it's Kruisbear. Kruisbear. Swedish. Ah. Kruisbear. Ah, now I know exactly what you're talking about, Yamato, yes. Yes. <laughs> I think it tastes really good. Kruisbear. Where's Gilligan? Why is he asleep, man?
and bullets. <laughs> Boba and bullets. It's okay, Treyway will just fucking protect you, though. And then the trepidation around C9 was very real because of how much they struggled all the way through to week six. But I feel like the edge that's given C9 in this series, they are just completely locked in and showing up. All right. One of the biggest, most Cristiano Smolderini is banned. <laughs> Cristiano Smolderini, what the fuck? <laughs> Followed by... You guys talked a little bit about it at the end of Calista Melito. About how they were Cloud9 was <laughs> what the fuck is going on, Yamato? Yamato, you streaming this or no? No, no, no. Damn, I'm just, just vibing. I'm just, yeah, of course. I'm just, just chilling with, just with the boys. Okay, respect, Yamato. Uh, I wanted to go shower. Yeah. But now I'm just soaking in my own bowl sweat watching <laughs> oh LCS, man. God. That's the good life. <laughs> why, man? Why? Broke my fast with some fried chicken. <laughs> oh my god. Americana, baby. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? He was just blinding Hassante. And then a Renekton pick. Holy. Stop not shot, please. You're a bit sophisticated. Okay, my bad. With Red Side, this isn't a team like FlyQuest, right? Okay. Is this a Varus first pick for C9? Yes, it is. Damn. Oh, oh, the zoom in on Sniper is shocked. Oh! Dude, he looks like he's kind of sh shocked. He looks like he's a little shell shocked. He wasn't expecting all this. A twist of fate. Nah, we bears pick it, right? Yeah. Yeah, boys. And play generally strong team fighting compositions and have success. What are we going, bro? I think we need like some type Nautilus. of buttons. Nautilus Ari or some bullshit. Nautilus Zinzao, slam it. Nautilus Nico, slam it. I'm down with that, bro. Nico Zin, I'm down. I love me some Choga. More important, if there is a criticism that people have levied against Sniper, it's that he's really Rel. at his picks. So you want you picked Kindred the previous game and now you pick Rel. Yeah. That's the shit I don't like. Uh, the Kaisa. I mean, the thing is, Meech, last time, he should never have got to the point where he could play the game. <laughs> this Kaisa. I think that his laning is, like, kind of sketchy. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's the same with the flag with bot lane. Yep. Yep. Giving Nautilus for blue side as well. I don't know about this one, Sunny Boy. Ari Nautilus. Build yeah, enemy showing rail already. Send the naughty. Oh, he's spitting on him. Fuck your Vega. Fuck your Vex, he's saying. Damn, the image in the background looks crazy crisp. Look at the Ari quality. Holy shit, bro. Look the at Jojo bro. Doom, bro. Bro, Jojo, I can see into his thoughts. Shit was crazy. Damn. The engage on the Nautilus. Lots of people prefer seeing Vulcan on engaged champions. Is it just a spear of China? Looking. Yeah. Spear of China. You think? Zin Zhao. I think Zin Zhao is fucking broken. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, you can take Zin Zhao and then ban out what, like Lisa and Volibear, maybe? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you maybe answer mid though. No. Huh? 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 Yeah. What? What the heck? So I guess it's flex between Sniper and Quid to like soft block the TF, maybe? Mm, Bro, I, I think Hunter okay. Thieves should ban Renekton. Ban Renekton, ban Renekton. Oh, sure. Ban it or pick it on four. Kong ban, okay. That's fine. But they better ban or pick Renekton, though. But I think that they don't want to pick Renekton on four because they have Yasuo flex, right? So... I think that they should. I think maybe you get a Gragas ban from C9 or something. Poppy is a bit of a demon against the Hundred Thieves draft too. Oh yeah, Poppy is really fucking insane. Don't think it's a flex only because Sniper in his amateur and academy career doesn't appear to have. If they don't don't ban Renek, I'm assuming they're picking it on four and picking an AP jungle to pair with Yasuo, right? Wait, what happens if Sniper is not gonna play this game and his twin brother Crimson, who's a who was a one trick Yasuo, is just gonna be? Playing it on instead. But, uh, why are they all three like top players? <laughs> you know, like it's, uh, bro, his, his, their dad is just fucking. He's just got some crazy ass moves, bro. 
<laughs> just Has pumps out rank before, one top laners. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's looking like a Renekton Volibear or some shit for C9. Has to be Re Renekton on four. Come on, Hunter Thieves. I don't know, bro. Renekton Even if they go Renekton here. Okay, I guess, bro. Eh. Eh. I'm, the eh. Renekton looks so turbo to me, bro. Renekton volley, bro. Send it. Oh, my lord. There it is. Hey, man. What do you have into? What do you pick on five? It's going to be interesting, bro. I mean, is if that... it's going to be a NAR or something, we pack it up. Yes, really good yes. from if it's, if it's uh, so I mean, Olaf is banned. Yeah, I don't know. Imagine they picked like Renekton on four, Sejuani on five. I, it would have been like some odds, you know, some chances. Hey, one, one day just match Artrox, like, they're just going to pick it because... I really like the Renek into... Into, into four, the... so many melee. I really don't like the Zin Zhao pick here. Yeah, the Zin Zhao is weird. <laughs> Zin kind of sucks into this many melees. Okay, what is Blood, blood thing picking? It's gotta be some. Ah, uh, that's not it, bro. That's not it. Uh, I don't believe least... in it, bro. I don't believe in what Hundred Thieves drafted here. It's like, at least it's not an AD top laner that like would just be wank. Like it's it, the Rumble is like at least winning, you know. It's... I, I'm giving Renekton though. They should have picked Renekton four and AP jungle every time here. I think and just send uh, and this this champ both red. I don't know why you would want to play Alistar here into into Nautilus Varus. It just sounds miserable. I don't see how Alistar is going to improve you overall. that's going to affect the rest of the map and see if 100 thieves can play around that yeah the top lane in particular both of these past couple of games game number one with the eight right, can we interview golden Goo again i want to hear what he's thinking about the draft i decided to go even more early game in this draft <laughs> we have a dinner reservation in 20 minutes ever <laughs> Honestly, uh, it could be worse than the Rumble, honestly. Could be worse than the Rumble. Like, Rumble at least wins early. Like, has some AP damage. I just, I'm just worried about the bot matchup. Like, I, I don't see a world where they can ever contest CV3 bot side the river. It's, it's like two auto drakes for, for C9. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really hard. When Kaisa's like your only damage, I don't think Kaisa does enough damage to like carry that. I think the only champion that can really carry the... Rel, Alistar is uh, like a Varus or some shit. I was thinking this team was going to be sixth, maybe seventh, a fringe playoff team, but they ended up being tied for first at multiple points throughout this, se this season, yet Cloud9 was expected to run over everyone, and we might need to pause because yeah. we're going for Sniper. I think he's okay. Yet Cloud9 greatly underperformed expectations, but there was always this, this edge about them Wondering if there were going to be you should have played Nami support. Right, Maybe, bro. We wait for the minions to spawn in game number three. Wait, what, what, why? What? I don't know. But he just said it. Go with it, bro. Hey, y'all. I am here with my best friend. Who's this interview? Um, no. That's what you <laughs> My best friend, Mithy. <laughs> what? Just because they're winning. <laughs> she said, I'm here with my best friend, Mithy, today. <laughs> How is it helping y'all clutch to win? Um, oh, JoJo's got the tech, bro. Well, we he knows. Champions, not oh, always yeah. in main, but in the mid game so um it's just something that is not as easy to execute at first so it's just been a about like you know trying to make it work throughout this i mean jojo ari wasn't this guy like the goat of ari it was band one to three of them yeah he was the ari goat now is that something that you recommend for the fleet footwork yasu i think I think it was just very uh i have no OB idea lane. bro maybe that's how you get through it i mean i think that that lethal tempo is like pretty nerfed so i can see alternatives oh, it did get nerfed, lane, it did, it did get nerfed yeah. yeah like the e dash into auto dash out looks pretty op jojo's already a pot down and i'm really curious to see what happens in this third game here because i'd say going into the series uh, Alright, send out the wave, Georgia Pion, don't let the man crash. Ah, oh, unlucky, two minutes into the third. Kind of right. 
whereas possibly Hunter Thieves, and this is a little bit of speculation, but they might have been a little bit satisfied after how well their split had gone and how well specifically that- Damn, they're satisfied. Ain't no way. Is that, is that the conclusion? Well, maybe they just didn't give a fuck anymore. Oh, the river marked the level three gank. Base. Oh, River's in trouble, by the way. River is dead, no? It looks pretty tough. Renekton is going to collapse here. He's dead as fuck. Oh, Blabber just gave it to him. Oh, maybe not. Is he in the second round? Where is he going? Psycho. Okay. Didn't Jojo Pin reach if he wanted to or not? I don't know. I think Fudge could have maybe reached. Okay. I don't think River needed to die there. Like, that was a Zinza without flesh. Yeah, like, but Zin, Zin had uh, marked him with W, so he was going to E him. He was just trying to stay around the rumble. Are you sure he was, was he going to? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he was going to get, he was, he was going to oh, get a uh, E, E auto attack. So he didn't have W for shield. Red the two R, you know? like, yeah, I mean, overall, the result, I think, is fine, no? It's good for C9, no? Yeah, it's good for C9. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sniper using knife as well. It's, it's very good, I think. Because... Because mid lane seems pretty central to this game. Okay, they got a base off on bot. It was good for River to mark the gank, but to... No, I mean, him walking into that bush was yeah, really bad. Yeah, going all the way was crazy. I think I mean, he just should have dropped the ward and peace out. Like The only reason he did it is because he saw that Zin didn't have a red buff. And he, it made him confident, I swear. Like, that's how jungle works, bro. You see that you have a blue buff, uh, the other guy has a blue buff and you have a red buff. And you're playing the worst matchup in the game. And you're like, I can fight him, bro. <laughs> this red is gonna fucking win me the fight. But the, the red is so like. Yeah, no, bro. Like red buff is so OP. I don't know. It just makes you bro, feel so like, like Thanos. At least hold W. Like the way he W'd was the worst way possible. Yeah. I mean, he can't, he got it canceled. Yeah. Wait, River is fishing. I mean, is Europe in that? Oh. Wait, this guy is dead. Guy is dead. Yeah. Rip. Goodbye. Oh, and it goes to Berserker as well. Jojo, okay? Oh, Jojo's yeah. just fine. He just walks it off. No flash. He didn't even have and to flash. Emote. And emote. And emote. And emote. Fuck and he's just going to type I'm some out. shit to quit. He's going to call him a bitch in all chat like he did the first game. Oh, the fucking Vulca looks so good in that picture. And so Quid's going to get pushed over this lane, but they are unable to get that kill onto Jojo. As you need to say something. Oh yeah, no, I was sexy. looking at, sorry, sorry, I was yeah. thinking about it. <laughs> no, I, I was thinking out if he's playing on hit or not. <laughs> I think, no, it's because you said it and then I checked and, was, and, the, and there was no pictures. I was like, what the fuck picture is he talking about? I saw no pictures. I was like, what does he mean? You know, and then it was just all there. So then I just pretend I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's not level six. Oh, close to level six is this guy. Wait, wow, guys, Berserkers. Oh, he got it. And he got oh, level got six it. off of it. Oh shit. <laughs> nah, it's too much mental edge, bro. They're gonna crack. Well, They're gonna crack. Like to crack. It's like already over, <laughs> bro. I know, I know, I know when I see it. This, the, oh the no, one like, on the there, there is late. loser bracket, right? There is loser bracket? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's for some, it. for the top four, it is. Yeah. Oh, the other start and loser. Okay. Yeah. Is there like a dark horse that could do better energy, right? I guess. Energy, yeah, energy, yeah. I guess. Ooh. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, it gets through. Yeah, he just uh, he baited uh, this so hard though. Dies? He never dies. Um, I'm delusional. Like wow. This. Yeah, no. I mean, it was yeah, he like Fudge baited it so obviously, dude. That that's how you know that Sniper's a rookie. He's like, what this E2? This guy is into. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what the fuck? What is he doing? He just eat into my face with no spells. Yep. They're winning all the skirmishes. They're fractionally faster to a lot of these ganks. And these things are decided on very slim margins. Like, River was up there. Yep. He yep. was in the river. He was just half a second slow to that fight. River and was in the river. Ultimate from Rumble. That yep. power spike is Blabber's also been in the river this series as well. It's a quid pro quo. <laughs> 
is what ends up being able to make enough difference to turn that kill into a freebie. Cloud9 already up one and a half thousand gold at seven minutes in. Game three is looking pretty similar to the first couple of games. Let's take another look at what Sniper thought he had. Yeah, so he does not see Blabber. Oh, so the pet. He, he what? gets him with that. It looked like he got him with that. Now, let me see this again. Look, look at him. He just E2's insta ult. He's like, this guy is fucking indig. What's wrong yeah, with him? Why would he go in like, here? Bro, I think the thing that's so crazy, because like when I played my top lane arc, the thing that was so absurd to me is how much damage Renekton like R burn does. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's also like... Yeah, they buffed that yeah. shit way too much. Yeah, they buffed it and when, like it was um, people always run armor, right? Like, yeah, yeah, but I mean run. like, it, I mean no one runs armor anymore because I mean because no. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm I'm not, I'm saying it. I know it changed now, but when you played yeah. it, it, was still armor, armor. Yep. Eclipse Renekton is a ghost kind of He does. Hulk, he does. Like, he, he does 60 damage a second with his R burn. Mm -hmm. 60 oh, really? damage a second, bro. Think, and, and, and your fucking ult lasts 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit does over a thousand damage. Bro, Bro back in my days, you would go somewhere, yeah. came to an Ecton. It would be mid jungle or it would be mid top. But in yeah. every game, they have oh my oh. god, River, you are so good. He doesn't even ult. Jojo's cold, <laughs> and he's man. He's dancing on them. Oh no. Oh, it's so sad. She. Oh my god. But miss execution on the mechanical aspect means does nine out. Yeah, but it has a uh, bonus scaling. It has like five percent bonus AD scaling. So yeah, it didn't used to though. Yeah, they added that very recently. It never used to have that. Oh, this guy's no flash. He's just dead. Nah, they're just done. They're just done, bro. They're cooked. It's over. Why is Nasus? Why is Nasus just like the unwanted brother? Like he's legit never played. Well, Renekton is like. Played every fucking year, Perma. Bro, yeah, Nasus meta was some of the most boring shit ever. Yeah, bro. Nasus bro. jungle, bro. you know, like all they did was like walk into your lane, they just fucking E you like under the turret, like they just started sieging. You yeah. do three camps into siege. <laughs> nah, I mean the thing that was so broken is you just you'd ult and then you just go do Drake and you'd one shot the Drake. The hell is this? Is that how it goes? Okay. Blabber has ult. They can never fight this, by the way. Oh, no, Blabber. That was terrible. Oh, quit. Quit. He's egoing, bro. If he ults, uh, Jojo has arm. That was pretty disgusting from Blabber, not going to lie. Wait, uh, Jojo, can you stop egoing and just base TP? In like five seconds? Nah, he's dead, isn't he? He's going to have to flash mid. He's waiting for Malignant's, uh, Malignant's gold. That's so insane. Oh yeah, level nine. Never mind. He's the goat. Oh my god. Oh, Quinn is just dead, just like that. Oh, it's so dry, bro. It's so dry. FF the series. FF. This is not River Glory I'm seeing. Happens, bro. Happens to the best of us. Sometimes you just get it put all up inside you, and you just yelp. Anyone? No. Okay. They're, 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 they're sucking out the boba. What do you say? When the full what? I never said anything, bro. Okay, bro. <laughs> Everyone relax. Absolute domination, man. Yeah. It's not even close. It's Khabib. Bro, I've had it happen to me, bro. I've I've been yelping on the LCS stage before. This guy has no ult or what? This guy went to 1 HP before he ulted. Okay, Jojo Pew, no ult. Fudge is TPing behind and he has ult. Nah, they're so fucked. They're all dead. GG. And we have Malignant Scap. Oh, he hits those. It's so over. But Rumble's getting platings. He's getting platings, guys. Just like the first two. I was looking at the order and I was like, oh, Fudge is coming in, Fudge is coming in. Andre Rumble would be in this fight. Bro. <laughs> he would be there with Swiftness boots, bro. And maybe he would turn it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not, though. No, no, hell no. He would be there level five, though. Yeah. Ah, Shanji's my goat, but his team sucks. He kind of sucks the split, not gonna lie. Yeah, some people are flaming him. They're like, oh, Santa Rumble are worse now. He's fucking shit. This is, there are some comments. Yeah. yeah it's low-key true. Uh, my goat. Extreme title, please. 
the early games lcs playoff banger 100 thieves for c9 hashtag lcs go oh, stream what's wrong with the stream title every skirmish look man i don't mean to be a downer here but i don't even know what you do as 100 thieves to try to come back from this much of an avalanche is he laughing yeah it's loser mentality he left grab that drake so at least c9 won't be stacking towards a soul for free this time yeah, and that actually is pretty important because they do. <laughs> Where's the banger? <laughs> it's it's kind of been a banger. Oh, what's happening to the screen? Being able to get that off of I don't know, bro. What's the, uh, out. After the previous fight. The fun uh, just missed six creeps so there. Like, what the fuck? Fine, man. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't miss every creep. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Like, it was cute. <laughs> Wait, River has the flash or <laughs> what? He missed all of six. Uh, Blabber is so strong. He's got Sundered Sky. He can just do it every once. Okay. If Cloud9 wins, they would have their next That's a big win for River. <laughs> yeah. It's Grom diff right now. Look how unafraid Blabber is. He's just like, yeah. He's so strong. Fucking Texas can rejoice. One hub is down, but they get to fucking watch C9 do this to the one on the <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. <laughs> no way, Texas. So you just disengage and walk away anyway. I mean, if you die to Alistar and Rel both punching you for 40 damage one time per second in the face, you've probably got bigger problems. And I don't think C9 have those kinds of problems right now. I, I gotta ask, though. Chris followed the big three to cut the lead to 40. It's true, man. <laughs> that one was so funny. Dude. Yeah, that one was so good. Yeah, but Luca went oh, look at how God, sad bro. it is, bro. It's just everything is so depressing. Eesh. Oh, it's just one of those series. Well, nothing works, you know. Everything is just... exactly what JoJo's already Fuck. can do, right? He said well, Luca went God mode that game, bro. Yeah, Luca true. went God mode. He... <laughs> he did. He's so good. Yeah. Well, how crazy is it, though? Like, all of those comments from all the other players, all the other teams, they're just like, they're gonna echo in the mind of these guys. Well, like, for 100 tips? Yep. Because now yeah, there's, sure. there's no co player, you know? It's like, yeah. ah, we're, it's us against the world, boys. You just wanna fuck us up. We're gonna bring it to him. We are good. And then. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe there was an angle. Okay, 750 gold to Meech. Let's get it. Wait, he has a Kraken Slayer. It's doomed. I thought maybe if he was playing poke, there would be a chance, but no. Bro, 14 1 Kaiser was so broken with Kraken because it had AP scaling. That Kaiser was so busted. When you had Nashor's Tooth, Kraken, and Ginsu, your Kraken did like 600 damage because the AP scaling was 50% for some reason. God but damn. then they removed the AP scaling. That's why we left Senna Seraphine up. Just kidding. <laughs> Bro, that game drives me insane. That game drives me so insane. Oh, no, I triggered insane. it, boys. Oh, shit. Oh, that game drives me so insane. Pull out the drink, boys. Please. Oh, no, not the I triggered him. Oh, shit, chat. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about it, Crowdy. Don't ask what game, bro. Just let it go. Okay. Please. We we played we played Vi Kaiser Rakan into Sena Seraphim. Oh, that game. Yeah. I done. Mm -hmm. yeah, Drake game. fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember about Drake fight? Mm -hmm. I remember. The I remember the game. I remember. Pain. Pain. You know, sometimes. <laughs> Things sometimes maybe like good, sometimes maybe uh, shit. Uh, speaking of not pulling out, C9. Looks like they're keeping it in. <laughs> they need to increase Eclipse cooldown, I think. Look at the burn, look at the burn, bro. What is that? Dude, the burn is so insane. What's the significance there? Chat? Oh. Okay, bro, now you're just like, look at the burn, look at the burn. <laughs> bro, do you see the burn? I mean, the burn literally did like 500, 600 damage there, at least. Yeah, yeah. Labaroni. How do we know he'll even remember? I don't remember anything from when I was 10. That part of my mind just doesn't work. So what's with all the sexual energy today, bro? Are we watching the same series? Bro, did you see that Vulcan picture, bro? <laughs> the way I put the picture, <laughs> no one saw it, bro. I don't even think there was a picture. I think you just, you just <laughs> like Vulcan, bro. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, oh my sky. god, wait, they're gonna lose this fight 4 0? Oh my god. Nah, dude, it's so sad. This It's just Oof. one of those series where just like nothing goes right. The Rumble sacked the top wave too, bro. He wanted to participate. <laughs> Look at those minions dying. They're just. 
They're just getting beaten in every skirmish. Just an absolute schlacking. The hunt that Cloud9 is putting on to 100 Thieves. Bro, is it too far if I tweet out 100 Thieves this series and then the Drake wide? For how questionable what about the most? <laughs> you have to, bro. <laughs> I have to? Winning lanes and not being nah, bro, I would, but I'm representing an organization. Ah, uh, yeah. I represent myself. Games they have played as a five it's man. right down your alley. Watching this one more time, Blabber is flexing his golden item advantage. <laughs> it starts 2v3, but ends completely in the favor of Cloud9. Yeah, and it looks kind of good, right? Because you're like, oh, they're getting a little bit of damage on them. The Rel Engage comes off. We're like, okay, maybe we have Blabber locked down. Nope, and then here comes, once again, <laughs> Renekton TPing across the fight. Um, GG. GG. At their back line. They have no answers for him or Blabber right now. And I really love the way that Blabber plays it because he uses his audacious charge after he pops the ulti to get far enough away from Quid. The Quid can't. That would have should have been the C9 ADC. And yep. Meech. Then he flashes away from Meech. All that's left is two meatballs. Blabber does not care about either. Is that, is that, that's a meme, right? Because he was about to join TL or something? Now, yep. Or like he wanted to? The man is running Dodo something like that, man. Bro. Gold lead. Two drakes to one. Just kidding, Dodo I don't think Dodo career. did anything wrong, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, he was a bit arrogant about those things, though. Absolute show of dominance from C9 in this game thus far. 4-0-6. For JoJo's Ari, 4 0 and 3 for Fudge's Renekton. Jet, you were bringing up previously in the series how the solo lanes have got the world is mine. Let it get back. Right now, it's a 1 2 and 1 Yasuo, a 1 4 and JoJo Pierce is having fun, man. Look at him. That is not the recipe for success. Yeah, absolutely. Midnight Ari, man. It's just any cups. How can it break? Make us. No, I mean, JoJo's like one of the best players in the region for sure. What's happened there? I think he's probably yeah. the best player. I mean, it's him or Ber Top Farm Berserker, you no? Know? Or Blabber? It's uh, him or Inspired, I think. Oh, yeah, I mean. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Inspired, I agree with that. Yeah. Inspired is really fucking good. Man. Yeah, that guy is really insane. Oh, that, guy, that, guy is, that guy is unreal. Like, even in, when he played in you, he was so good. Yep. Turning it on this oh, what? So you'd say in the series, okay. he's no, it's like normally like when you're watching a game like a pro like if you're if you're a pro jungler and you're or like you were a pro jungler you're watching a game from like like god mode view it's like so easy to criticize pathing and stuff mm -hmm. but it's like inspired is like 99.9% .9 accurate with this path really? is there any others that uh, remind you of that from the east it's a complete fisting bro yeah, C9 is like just elbow in, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Elbow in, bro. I've elbow never in, bro. seen or heard about that, man. <laughs> El like elbow to the fucking in. elbow, bro. It is what it oh, is. Oh, shit. Like that? Okay. That makes yeah. more sense. Yeah. I thought like someone would like go elbow first. No, 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 no. Up to the elbow. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Some some deep sea you fishing. two and a half, man. What, what, was it good this time? Watch now. <laughs> Bro, are you gonna eat one more time? Because you only ate one meal, right? In this game, we saw Vulcan going for those super. You don't think so? You're just gonna do one meal on a gym day? Bro, Gilius thought there was 2,000 calories in a kebab. I was like, bro, it's like max 1k in this shit. He's like, nah, it's like 2,000, 2.5k. <laughs> this guy is so delusional. It's crazy. Yeah. I like that you're bringing up objective. Yeah, no, it's a, it's, it's a stomp. Now we're getting hey, but look at this. Game. Hey, don't say anything about it, but. Ignite didn't work out. It's yeah. going to be a big disadvantage going forward. They've scaled now, guys. <laughs> it's just so free, bro. It's so looking for any kind of an angle. Yeah, yeah, we're going to gym tomorrow. Yes. 100%. Nice, and we're just going to be lightheaded because the gym has no air. Yeah, we can't, we can't breathe in the gym. It's so crazy. Yeah, no, no, no. Bro, he just, in, he, instead of saying soaking, he just said sogging. You see my shirt in the gym? I was sogging. <laughs> Ain't no way. Oh, yeah, this right. Rubble Wolf, this is how we start it. Let's go. Renekton's okay. not here. We can win, boys. That reminded me of the World of Warcraft expansion Cataclysm. In that bottom side river, Fudge already has the tier two turn. Complete disaster. Bottom lane, so another victory going the way of C9. Has Black oh. dead again, oh, invading for the red. But Vulcan and Jojo are also nearby. Oh, yeah, yeah. I stole the thing. All the way back out of their jungle. 
Wait, so Sinan is chilling so hard now. They beat second seed, Frio. They're like in like almost in finals. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What? Okay, I'm mad for Sinan versus Fly. That's gonna be decent, I think. But yeah, after well, today, it just yeah. looks like Sinan's gonna run the whole region. Like, I mean, I think if Fly with bot lane doesn't improve lane, they uh, cannot beat. Sinan. I think uh, Rachel are gonna get food. Gonna order. They cannot win yeah. three three yeah. games out of five against C9 if their bot lane they're nothing open. Loses lane. Lane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this really? is what I expected, like yeah. FPX. I thought FPX bot lane against Ruler missing. I thought they would be yeah, yeah, yeah. in trouble. And then the rumble came out. Yeah, and the level need, 3 gank happened. You need shit like that. But I, I was surprised that... Uh, Just the dry is better known to man, bro. But I guess Milky Way just, just, just found a way to break the lane. This morning someone told me they didn't nerf Senna because of Ramadan. Damn. But that champ has been dominating winners for like six patches now probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, bro. Is he gonna type something? He's gotta type something after that, right? Say back to Academy or some bullshit, I don't know. On the RE, 11 out of 15 kill participation tied with his own jungler. You're my on the team. Beach, Meech. With the 5v4 advantage for the next 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. C9, That's where we're at at this point, man. <laughs> You're my That's Beach, that Meech. <laughs> <laughs> That's what George of you wrote, bro. Okay. Blame JoJo for that joke, okay? Honestly, oh, Gilius was in the room. Nah, he wasn't. He left. He's got to watch his two and a half men, bro. He left, bro. He's done with four hours of ARAM. Now he's now it's time for two and a half men. <laughs> That's Gilius' life, bro. Sounds based, bro. <laughs> it's kind of based, yeah. I'm gonna guess it's about two. Yeah. The first game, maybe three, because the first game was definitely the closest. And then they have been increasingly more Cloud9 favored. Uh, I was going to think of Gilius type jokes for the rest of the game. <laughs> Bro, you know how I played solo queue on stream, Yamato? Yeah. I had music playing. I did it on my YouTube stream. I got 28 copyright claims for music. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was like your video has been banned in one country and 28 claims. What the fuck? All right, let's see. This is the fight, bro. They got Berserker. Does it matter? Enemy team has Look at Renekton versus five melees. He's go the go right now. Oh, oh shield will proc, guys. He's going to stay alive. Oh. It's fucking over, bro. This is a complete fisting. Damn, bro. That's a two hour stream. Wow, they really just came out swinging. Yo, respect C9. You guys are the goats. I know okay, you guys in the opening draft, but you guys will run the whole region. Shout this out to Whip and Inspired. We wanted to see, bro. Shout out to Whip and Inspired. Good luck. Yeah, they will have it's an up. Yeah, they're gonna have an up. It's gonna be hard. Man, if 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 Inspired like carries Flakwest against C9, then these guys just go to another level, I think. Bless up, homie. I'm gonna go shower, guys. All right, peace, peace, boys. Oh, yeah, likewise. Same for Crowny. All the best, boys. Bye, bye. Yeah, bye, bye. All right, boys. That's a quick one, man. So tomorrow, we wake up, we do LPL. I mean, there is Hanwha Life T1, but there's also FPX IG, bro. And you know me, bro. I'm gonna be watching FPX IG any day. A battle for fourth in LPL over T1 Hanwha Life. So I'm going to be up for that. Um, I'll also be watching the series before that, which is uh, RNG versus OMG. Make sure that RNG wins or OMG wins because OMG is fighting for playoffs with LNG, Weibo, anyone's legend, I guess, WE. So yeah, we'll do that. And then tomorrow we have got more LCS. The other upper bracket match is going to be um, at night, 9 p.m. my time, uh, 3 p.m. I believe. Central Standard Time. Um, and yeah, that's going to be the FlyQuest versus TL series on the other side of the upper bracket in LCS. So that's what we'll be doing. Anyways, thanks for watching, boys. I am going to go now. Peace out. Thanks for watching. I will be on tomorrow. In the